And the pizza rolls ready. I love you. I Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get down to some chicanery that's been going on on the internet and whatnot. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a tsunami of TikToks and stitches and things of chicanerous nature. I can tell you that. So, you know, I'm a, I don't know if I ever got tagged in a man's video more than I have in the last 24 hours. So I said, fuck it. I ain't stitching this shit. I'm going to just message the man and say, yo, we got some chicanery to address. So we're doing an impromptu live with none, on the, the none, with none other. Then the heartbreak kid himself. He's broken a hundred and hundreds of thousands of hearts, except for that of one person and one person only. His own mother. And there's good reason for that. So he explains. So he says. So we gonna find out, ladies and gentlemen. Let's wait for him to come in here. Hey yo. Mr. Heartbreak Kid, where you at? We gonna get him in. We gonna ask some questions. If y'all got any questions, throw it in that Q&A box. Or if you got any questions, throw it in the comment section, baby. Other than that, just groove with me. Until we get the young man on. You make my <laughs> Let go. Let me see if I can send him a request. I think he got to be in here. Okay. I just realized my Wi-Fi was off. How's the connection now? Hey, what's Is going it? on, Mr. Oh, TikTok? To your legend. What's going on, young man? Shit, just chilling, bro. Blessed. Very thankful. Very grateful. Very appreciative. Give I heard you was a little frustrated about some things. <laughs> you, want, you want to get something off your chest? Uh, no, I mean, I just feel like, you know, in today's society, I feel like there's such a big double standard when it comes to relationships. Stuff. And granted, you know, in the past, men have treated women like terrible. You know, if we're talking historically, you know, not giving mm -hmm. women rights or anything. And I think it's deserving that women decide to have on rights now but at the same mm -hmm. time on to a point where women now i feel like in my opinion have an inflated ego to the point mm -hmm. that they feel like like to the point that just they're just better than men and i'm here to mm -hmm. like, no you're not like i'm not saying that any woman can't be a queen i'm just saying that not every woman is a queen not by default you know that's not what you said in your video bro why what did i say you excluded all women except for one individual oh yeah my mother yeah my mother. So what about my mama? Huh? Well, I mean, I mean, she could be, huh? a, she could be a queen to you. <laughs> All mothers are queens, bro. You gotta come on. You gotta acknowledge that. No, All moms are queens to somebody. You just said it yourself. Of course. I mean, what about she's, you know, not being a good mother? Hey, she's still your mother. She, she's the one that brought you into this world. You feel? Nah, I feel, I feel. I agree with that. Hey, <laughs> Hey, so man, tell me what's on your mind, bro. First off, let, we gotta address some rumors going on. Yeah, address. Okay, them. bro, is you dating your mama? <laughs> how, how, how's that work, bro? I don't even know what that is. Like, no. what, what's the, what's the term for that? You dating your mama? I don't know. I remember people like like some lady on the on one of the posts that I had. They she put like Opetus or something, and I just said shaking my head. God bless. And people, like, ran with it as if it's like I was agreeing with it. Like, I said, shaking my head, God bless. Like, yo, shaking my head. Like, that's crazy. Like, why would you say that? No, I have no relationship with my mom. Thank you. I'm from Massachusetts, not from fucking self. No, respect to the people from the self, though. Respect to them. I'm just saying, like, yeah, nah, I don't, we don't move like that over here. Okay. Okay. 
He said respect to the people from the South. Is that what you said? Yeah, respect to them. It's just... It's... <laughs> they, I think... Okay, I ain't even gonna go there with you, man. I, we got a lot... Of, hey, okay. Hey, can we also address another thing, bro? Yeah. Who the fuck stole your curtain rod, dog? Uh -huh. Who stole your... Where, where's the curtain rod at, dog? You got that shit hanging up on some nails? Yeah, no cap. I really do, though. Really hey, bro. Balling on a budget. Respect. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I mean, that, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it is what it is. Like another pressing concern of the people. Yeah. Are you stand? Are you standing or sitting right now? Right now, I'm sitting. I'm sitting. I'm Bullshit, sitting. bro. You you standing up? Nah. I tell you standing. I have my phone <laughs> on like the uh. The TV. Mm -hmm. You got the phone the phone on the ground, sitting on the floor, and you standing. <laughs> also, I see. Yeah, because people be telling me that I'm five three, and I'm just sitting. There, I'm looking. I'm like, what are you guys talking about? I, bro, I'm five foot nine, bro. Like, so it's like. I, I he five foot nine. All right, get it straight, people. I, I'll be honest. He five foot nine and he dominant. I mean, let's let him know, bro. Let him know. No, with my shoes yeah, off. With my shoes straight off, up. No, honestly, with my shoes off, I'm five eight and three quarters. But three quarters, that three quarters counts, bro. Not, hey, close I, enough. I, hey, man, I, shit. I don't give you slide in a couple of them little pads underneath your heel, bro. You good? It's five. That's five nine, basically. You see? Yeah. Five, five, eight, and three quarters is basically five nine. Like that's on. five fucking nine, bro. That's five fucking nine. Five nine, five nine. People are saying seven. he's five seven. I am now five seven, bro. Like, <laughs> hey, bro, ignore the comments. Focus on me. Focus on me. Don't focus hey. on. Me. <laughs> All right, listen, bro. So, I, one last thing. This is more of a safety concern. Honestly, I gotta address that's, it. Question's going. See, he, he, that, that, that's what I'm talking about right there. That oh. smoke that just left your mouth. Okay, so what happens if your house catches on fire? How the hell are you going to know if you don't fucking change that battery in your fire alarm? Hmm? In your smoke detector. See, that's the thing about the smoke detector a lot of people are talking about. I don't know what battery or smoke detector they're talking about because the smoke detector is over there on the wall, and it's fully functional. So I don't understand where they're getting these. So what, who, who, who was beeping you? Was what that you the child support office? Nah. Trying to get that check? Hey, I ain't got no kids, man. Bless. I ain't got no kids. Cap, bro. Stop the cap. I don't. Stop the cap, bro. I saw your Instagram photos. I saw the whole shit. I saw. I, I did my investigation. Nah. I did my investigation. You bro, think I, you think I, you're playing with the fool? Who, tell me something. This who? What is this? Nah, no bullshit. That what really, is this? That's my little brothers. That's my little brothers. He's. Oh, he's, now you got a little brother now. He's All the saying he got a little brother, ladies and gentlemen. You see this? The chicanery's already begun. Nah. Who's his favorite superhero? Yeah, that's my little brother. Shit, bro. I love, I love that little man. No bullshit. <laughs> hey, this man, he thought, he well, thought he could pull a fast one on us. What happened? You thought you could pull a fast one on us? Hey, bro, send the questions and everything that people. Oh, I want to address something though. Um, hit us with it. So you said that we went through the height, the curtain rod, all this shit. Let's get mm -hmm. into, let's get onto the video about why I made the video, what it's about, because I think a lot of women have a misunderstanding as to why I made the video and what's the the, the preface behind it, you know, the intention behind it and, and why I made it. And I think it's very important for us to address it because I, you know, I see all the comments and trust me. I'm curious I, myself. I got like, th I'm getting like thousands of DMs every day, like, go kill yourself or yo, I hate you or something. And honestly, it, it's really entertaining to me. I got, I, I'm, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Because at the well, end of the day- you entertaining like, too, man. Kudos to you. <laughs> I try, bro, but I'm just really like, <laughs> a little bit of truth. But look, so let me, let me get to the video because I want to say this. Hit me with it. Everybody was complaining about the way I said it, not necessarily the message. See, the way I said it was for a reason. It was very necessary because and my point wouldn't get across if I just said to you, imagine I just sat there and said, you know, you know, I, I blame even the reason why most beautiful women are single today because of feminism. You know, you're not a queen. You're not like it doesn't sound the same. It's not it's not you're not a queen. You're not this. You're not the fuck you ain't. You know what I'm saying? It's not the same as that. Or like if I tell you to do something, do it. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't it doesn't feel the same as like, you know, if I tell you to do something, do it. You know, you just feel like a fucking pushover, you dig? Like, it, it, no one's going to take you serious talking like that. So it's like, at the end of the day, it's like, number one, I never be one day in my life. So any any girls who know me or whatever, they know. I never put my hands on a feet ever. I don't even need mm -hmm. 
Honestly, I've never even dated with, I've never even had any, every girl I've been with. What were you about to say? You ain't never dated women even? No, I said, I was about to say, I never dated a woman who was like aggressive to me. Like every girl I've ever dated, they've all been like, kind of like submissive, I guess. What, what, what's your, what's your, okay, let's get on that. Cause like, I, that's one of the questions I kind of wanted to ask you. Cause I, I assume that the reason for the video is that you have a frustration about that, the dynamic in relationships. Oh yeah, let's talk about it. You know, I think so what's, what, what's your ideal situation? What's your ideal relationship look like? Me personally? Mm -hmm. You personally? Uh, an ideal relationship to me is because I feel like this. I feel like majority of men, not all, but majority of men, like we kind of know our role. Like, you know, to be a provider, protector. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the main job of a guy. I feel like that's like, what, and honestly, it feels good. Being a man, being like the, you know, like taking your girl out, paint, you know, making sure she's good. If I take her on a date, you know, mm -hmm. here, don't worry about it. You good. You know, it feels good doing that because I feel like a man. I feel like responsible in a way. You kind of feel, you, you know what I'm saying? Right. But, but you, you're saying that a majority of men, they know their role? I would say majority of men today know that they, they if they want to get any decent woman who's like, you know, good looking or like mm -hmm. has good have but there ain't no chicanery on the men's side either is what you're saying no nah, everybody they they all straight arrow they they know their role they they, hell, they bro, there's there's a lot of dudes out here that are bums let's just keep it a stack a lot of dudes out here that are bums like a lot like how come lot. you didn't make a video on them then because how come you didn't make a video because, hey all you dudes that think y'all kings y'all bums because people don't care about that you know what i'm saying because it, it, look the, the issue i'm Ask talking the women if they don't care about that Yes, the women care about that, but my channel is more for, my TikTok is more for men, like helping men, but like trying to help men by speaking directly to females. You dig what I'm saying? So it's I like what you're saying, but that don't make no sense. If your audience is men, why is it, why, why can't you say what I said? Because that's no, your audience. Because majority of my audience, majority of my followers, a lot of people don't even realize this or notice, majority of my followers is women. Like ninety percent. Oh, you contradicting yourself? Okay, <laughs> listen, we ain't. <laughs> Let's just get back. Uh, so the ideal situation. My ideal woman. I feel like mm -hmm. this, right? I, now let me get back to what I was saying. Like, to me, an ideal woman. You know, like I said, you know, majority of guys feel like they want to play their role. But I feel like I just want to say this. I'm gonna get to it. But I feel like majority of women today are not traditional, but they want a traditional man. And then mm -hmm. the like, oh, I, I'll take care of a man. I'll do this. Fuck you won't. So stop lying. Because how long are you gonna stay with a man that you gotta take care of him? No girl's even gonna respect you. Like, like let's be honest. Like, I'm just, I'm just keeping it back. Most, like, the only type of women I feel like who will literally just sit there and take care of a guy. I know it kind of, but usually women who don't have a lot of options kind of have to. But if you get like a really, you're breaking up, my man. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're breaking up a little bit. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Go ahead. I feel like if you're dealing with a really good, high quality woman, she's not gonna want a guy that she gotta take care of. Like, like you're, you're a man, you, you should be able to take care of yourself. You should be able to, you know, like as a man, I feel like if I'm with a woman, there's no reason that she should be paying fifty fifty. Mm -hmm. But that, but look, this is the thing though. I don't think anyone should be paying fifty fifty. But at the same time, see here we see here, here it goes. Mm -hmm. You should respect me as a leader. You should respect me as a man. You know, you should respect me. Don't be posting bikini photos with your ass shaking out on fucking IG Live. You dig mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Don't be I get what me, you're saying. Don't be telling me you got these guy friends. You got guy friends? I bet. I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't guy friends because you ain't going to be with me. You got guy friends. I know how, I know how guys are. Come right. On so you, you, you're saying that, like, all women kind of have that mindset of what you're no, talking about? Because women, there's this thing called... Privilege is blind to those who don't who who have it. Mm -hmm. So understand that, like for a man, it's not as easy for a man to get access. Average guy, you know, not a guy. I mean, I'm kind of feeling the the hypergamy right now. Like girls that weren't even talking to me or people like that, they just, you know, I, I'm just being honest. But for an average guy, which I've as a good looking guy in shape, I've gotten a, I got a little bit more than an average guy. But for the average guy, you know, harder than a good looking woman or to get women that like consistently, especially in today's society where women are so like, I personally, a lot of girls are entitled, you know, 
it's it's a lot. Wait, more wait, let me pause you right there. You just said a lot of women are entitled. Isn't what you just said entitled saying that, hey, how come the average guy can't get pretty women? Aren't you feeling entitled about your ability to get good looking women? Nah, I said that I, I was trying to get You're frustrated a, about the fact that average guy don't average men don't get good looking men, women. So isn't that a sense of entitlement right there? Nah, that's not at all. That's not see, that my thing was that average guys don't get good looking women. I, in general, getting women in general. Okay, but okay, think, okay. So all right. When a girl says, Oh, I wanna have guy friends, you know for a fact that all those guys wanna smash. Okay? So that's number one. But now if you have a like, and guys will sit in the cut too. Guys are like thirsty, bro. Guys will sit in the cut waiting for you to mess up with your girl so he can mm -hmm. slide right up in there, You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Girls will do that. That's the thing. One thing I do respect about women is women won't do shit like that. Like, if she knows you got a man, I mean, obviously, there's some of those, you know what I'm saying? Some of them little goes both ways, my friend. Yeah, some of I've them. I've seen all sides of the spectrum, bro, and I try to cover all sides of the spectrum. So everything you're complaining about is true on the other side, too. Uh, and and we, we can say that, but I can, I can literally. Like, I, I'm telling you from my experience personally that majority of the time, like, I had, I remember one time I was talking to, like, four different girls, bro. Beautiful women, too. You know, I mean, I'm keeping my options open. I'm keeping my options open, just like what and, women But, yeah, you mad about the girls with the guy best friends that are also keeping their but options I'm, open. So I'm talking about if you're in a relationship. Like, if I'm in a oh, relationship, God I'm you. girlfriends. You dig what I'm saying? Mm. But I'm, I'm single, like... I'm keeping my options open. I'm not going to just put all my eggs in one basket on this one girl. Get oh, so you're in the talking stage, you're talking. You're, yeah, you're talking it's, about. Okay, okay. And I remember, like, I started getting with this one girl, and I'm telling the other girls, like, yo, you know, I, I, I might start to get pro. Like, they were, like, basically, like, yo, like, I can't. That's messed up. Or I'm going to have to tell her. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, guys, like, girls do shit. Like, girls that's that like, game you're playing, bro. What are you talking about? Because if you have a if, – if, if a girl's – Talking to like four different dudes, and no dude's gonna be like, "Yeah, I'm about to expose you to your man." Like, no guys don't do shit like that. Well, so least, are you open with the fact that you're talking to multiple women right off the rip with all those girls? Ah, uh, got gotcha. you, uh, caught gotcha, you, motherfucker. You paused. No, nah, I respect that. I respect that. You know, I mean, see, that's I, why they start tripping because you were acting cicatrous. You were hiding the fact, but, and that and guys will do the same too. If you aren't up front with me. If you try to hide your boy, your man from me or hide this other dude, and then I find out later, you see videos on it all the time. They confront him in the car, whatever, the dude and the boyfriend. Come on, bro. Look, you going. Nah. Uh, come on. Nah, I don't know what you mean, Miles. You know what I'm talking about. Maybe maybe for you and your <laughs> I'm going to keep it a stack with you. Every If I tell girls today, like, the girls, like, because I'm going to be honest, I usually don't date girls who are, like, in their 30s. You know, I stay around, like, of age legal, like 18 to like 21, 22. That's like ideally. I don't like old girls, bro. Like, girls who are like in their prime stage. You dig what I'm saying? Like, I don't I don't want a girl who's like old. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I just got a little lightheaded there. <laughs> what were you saying? <clears throat> so so you, you like them younger. Okay, respect. Yeah, that's, that's my, number one, I see people saying 17-year-old... And the girl who said that on Twitter. Hey, come on. Don't pay attention to these uh, comments. They be, they, you know, they're trying to throw you off track. Not a baby. I got you. <laughs> so what were you saying about them 17-year-olds? Yeah, right. <laughs> come on. <laughs> well, no. well, okay. So 18 to 21, you like them younger. What, were you, what was your point with that, though? So, like, girls usually around that age, like, like if I tell them, like, the girls that age are still in that phase where, like, they're not gonna settle for less. Like if you, they have so many options at that time. So if you, like, tell girls like that, like, they're gonna be like, they're gonna cut you off, bro. Like they're not gonna do that, bro. They're just not gonna do it. Most of that majority of the time, if you tell a, like, yo, I'm gonna be talking to, like, and girls and shit like that. I feel like personally, sometimes maybe they don't. Maybe some girls don't. Maybe I'm just I think that I don't know. But like, I usually just don't tell them. And then I'll and then I'm not gonna cap. I, I I eventually do tell them, which you know, yeah. But which is why they get up pissy about it. Yeah, but they be sneaky. So they feel like what? They feel like they got played, right? So of course, wouldn't you feel the same way? You'd feel like you got played. That's exactly why you made the video. Somebody, come on, who 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 was it? One of these girls did something, and then they were like, "Yo, you entitled as fuck," and then you found out something about her. I'm just guessing, but you could tell me if I'm right. Like, 
That's what spa sparked it. But like, see, this is the point I'm trying to make. Uh -huh. It goes both ways. I'm, gonna give it, <laughs> I'm not gonna give it much because I feel like, like I've been seeing it. Like some of the girls that I've talked to are like probably in this live, and probably like watching me. So I don't want to say too much, but I'll say that like ah, the man trying to protect himself. Of course, of course. <laughs> but, say but I'm gonna keep it a stack with you. When I'm single, I'm dating. But if I'm in a relationship, I'm gonna be loyal to a girl. That's a, that's that's a fact. That's all the way on it. Like I, I'm not the type of guy who believes that like it's okay for men to cheat. Like so, nah. It, but under one under one preference th preference though, if she's being loyal, she's respecting me. Obviously, if she's physically like you know what I like. Let's just be honest. And mm. what is that exactly? A considerate woman, like a good woman. Like she's not like you know combative and like if I ask you, yo babe, you know you mind you know doing this for me you know me so, listen can i just go <laughs> out she don't ask me if if, if if she's gonna pay for something because if i if i don't pay for it she's paying for everything she don't think i'm a bum you feel me like let's be honest here like we're going adults That's like dynamic you want you want a woman that is going to like feminine you no know, traditional yeah. like you want to be the, the caretaker you want to be the provider and she's I'm gonna and what's her what do you want her role to be yeah but not like like there's like this thing there's two types of guys though. Like there's like the the beta male provider type of guy. Let's be honest. And mm -hmm. then the man, like the complete package. I feel like it's not just about being a provider. It's providing, uh, providing intellectually, providing you know, physically like protection, providing in the bedroom. You know what I'm saying? So it's mm -hmm. like, like you got to do all of it. You know. And at the end of the day, it's and what's, what 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 she got to do. I, I, what she got to do is a. Is What's a your woman. expectations of her? Oh yeah, so like, well, I never answered this. My ideal woman. So, number one, she has to be, you know, good looking. Preferably, I like girls. I'm gonna be honest with you, like five four to five seven. Okay. Uh, Latina. I love Latino women. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, preferably Brazilian, Puerto Rican, Dominican. But uh, and she has to be like feminine, definitely feminine. I feel like when you have like a woman who really embraces that feminine energy. You know, mm -hmm. like, like I love that feminine energy. Yeah, like she really embraces a feminine, like femininity. You know, I feel like a lot of girls today are kind of like mad. And when I say femininity, femininity is like, yeah, I'm a goddess. I'm a no. That's not feminine energy. Feminine energy is passive. Natural feminine behavior and energy is passive. Natural masculine behavior and energy is assertive. That's how it is. That's just naturally how we are. And you could test these things out when you see little kids. Watch little kids. I have a, a little brother, and mm -hmm. I have. A, and if, when you watch them, like I really, I one day I just I just started watching them play and act, and I'm just like, mm -hmm. damn, they really are like when they're not taught all these extra bullshit. Like, see, like my little brother, he likes to. He's like, come with me, come with me, follow me. Like, and she just like following him and listening to him, and it's so cute. You know what I'm saying? It's like that's how you know human beings are. You know what I'm saying? But then we you know we get older and we have. Somebody gets heartbroken, or you know, you know, all these things like, oh, oh, you don't need a man. Men ain't shit. It's like, how many a women gonna literally, literally bash men? Men ain't shit. I don't need men, but yet when I say that, not all y'all are queens. It's like I'm bashing. I'm misogynistic. Number one, most women don't even understand the definition of misogynistic. Misogynistic is the dislike, the prejudice of a woman. I, or hate of a woman. I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to be like, you can't come in my car because you're a woman. That's prejudice, you know what I'm saying? Or, mm -hmm. you can't, bro, if I'm fucking girls, I'm not prejudiced. Like, what are you talking mm -hmm. about? Like, it's like, what is it? Like, I don't get it. Like, this is just fucking nutty, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love, if I was prejudiced, I wouldn't love my mom, like, my aunts, you know, peace, you know, my recipe, my family. Like, what are you talking about? Like, I grew up around a lot of women, strong, masculine women at that. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I know what I like. You know, I'm a very dominant guy. When I say dominant, that doesn't mean like... Yeah. Wait, when you say what? Yeah, bitch, be my slave. Nah, that's not what I mean by dominant. Dominant is just like my energy. I'm very, I'm very controlled in my emotions. That doesn't mean I don't get emotional. Wait, you, you, can, you controlled in your emotions? Yeah. You know, I don't let a woman get me out of my emotions. I don't let her get me mm. out of... That's where that's where domestic abuse comes from. Is men not knowing how to control themselves with a woman who's being mm. erratic. You know what I'm saying? Like, blah, 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 blah. like nah, bro. Like I would dead ass like that. You're not. Yeah. 
like yeah, getting, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. You know? Like you know, like standing up and like you know, getting like kind of loud, right? Like I'm dominant, right, bro? That's <laughs> that's just so annoying, bro. Ain't that shit annoying? Yeah, bro. When I know exactly. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Well, so five. Let me just. I was just like writing down some of the traits of a woman that you like. Yeah. Let me know if I got this right. 18 to 21 is like your preferred age range, right? Can I ask yeah. how old you are? 24. 24. Okay. So a little bit younger than yourself. And you, you 24. You yeah. went from Massachusetts. And she yes. got to be respectful. She got to be physically your type. 5'4 mm -hmm. to 5'7. Latina. Yeah. Preferably Brazilian, you said. Yeah. All Puerto I, see, I see you. I see you. Okay. <laughs> and then she got to be feminine. <laughs> no, I'm playing right. Work. And then she got to be feminine, right? Feminine and also like considerate and submissive. Gotcha. So like, if she has all those, like this is this is wifey. Like you could love that's this wifey. type of that's, woman. That's, right. That's right. So those are the conditions, like for you, for, for me, you to love that woman. Those, are, right. So okay. those are so those are the conditions, right? Yeah. Yeah. For you. Yeah. Okay. So like. Now, another thing that you were frustrated about is, like, why women won't... The only person that loves you unconditionally is your mother. And these oh, women out here, they only love you under conditions. Yeah. But you just listed me all your conditions. I like that. I, I knew you were going to say that. You feel me? I, I, was I got your motherfucking ass. Nah, but look, 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 look. Got your ass. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we got them. We like, got them, ladies and gentlemen. This is the thing, though. Like, I... I, would, I but it's ideal. That doesn't mean that like every girl you meet is gonna fit everything on there. You know what I'm saying? Like if she just Bruh. right, you know, and is loyal, I will feel you, like you, you see the hypocrisy though in what you're I, saying and what you're telling me. When I say love unconditionally, what I mean is this: say for instance, we both like look at each other, right? Mm -hmm. In a relationship, I feel like majority of women only like really respect you for what you can do for them. Mm -hmm. And you only respect a woman for what she could do for you and how she looks is what you, come on, bro. You see the contradiction? Uh, listen, we just gonna keep it real. Let's just keep it real, real. Now you bro. keep it, <laughs> that's, that, that's real. But like, I just feel like there's, there's a difference between tangible and untangible. Of course. So what are the, some of those untangible things? Elaborate on that. How does that fit into the pu puzzle here? Because, like, money is something you have to, like, go out and work for and grind for. You know, it's, it's, it's important, you know? Like, you being feminine, like, that's a choice. You know, you just looking good, obviously, like, you know, every, any woman can be good if she just gets in the right shape. Um, I do it, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. And just respectful. That's just, you can be respectful. It's, like, a choice. So, it's, like, it's not like I'm asking you to bring something that actually takes some real, like, pressure and some work it know? is a choice but also do, don't you have conditions for who you respect like for example if i were to come at you and like if i were to ask you to do this with me if i didn't come correct you probably wouldn't respect this and you would have been like nah fuck you i ain't fucking fucking with you right um it depends this is respect. It yeah depends. my choice your choice to respect me or not but also there's certain conditions you require for how whether or not you're going to respect me Right. Of course. Got his ass again, ladies and gentlemen. No, without a doubt, that's true. You know, you don't you at the end of the day, like but that's but that goes back to my point with respect. I don't think respect respect is a like I guess it's a condition, but I think that's like the ungiven thing. Like I mean as human beings we should all be respectful. So I don't think Of course, a hundred percent. That should be the default. Yeah, that's the default. Like why hundred percent. That's not like a condition, that's just like default like as a human being you should be respecting each other you know what i'm saying so what i mean by conditions is like i said it's like tangible. Mm -hmm. like as a man we we require like just natural personality and like i guess how you uh, i'm not gonna charisma lie. yeah you know what i'm saying so it's like that's different than tangible like a girl can be a straight up bum like no money nothing but if she looks good is respectful is feminine is submissive, I'll fucking take her over a girl who makes a million dollars a year. I don't give a fuck. And okay. if that's a million dollars a year, she's competitive. She's so then she's not a bum. Because what you're doing is you're valuing her characteristics and her traits. 
This is what I tried to tell women in the video where I said how to be a high, what a high value woman is, is the problem is that women think what they see in men as high value, they think that we see the same. But women don't understand that men and women are different. Like, no. I'm not saying that man or woman is better as a human being, but we're built differently. Biologically, men and women look at different things. You feel me? Like, it's just natural. Like, as a man, a woman's career and her money is cool. It's a plus. Like, I, I respect it. Like, I'm not telling you not going to get a job. But at the, at the foundation of being in a relationship with a guy, you have to understand that that shit don't even matter. Especially if a man, he's taking care of himself. Especially not, if a man is taking care of himself. Yeah, like he's not. A he's taking care of himself and he can take care of her and he's competent enough to lead and provide for the family, right? Absolutely. So under under them conditions, no woman's gonna no woman's gonna have a problem being like, oh damn, but you are a man, man. Like I can, you you definitely know what you're doing. You have my best interest in mind. You have my your, your family's best interest in mind. I feel comfortable enough letting you take the lead. You see how that works, though. It's like, you can't just, you got to understand, like, we're we kind of built into a society where there, there's a lot of fucking bad apples out here that, okay, you say one thing, but your actions prove otherwise. Can we agree on that? Oh, like, the bum men that you were talking about. The bum men that we were talking about. They, they front, like, yeah, I, I'm going to be that guy. Yeah, but what's, what's going to happen? Yeah, but those type of guys, it's like, you could, you could tell because they, like, they just flex. Like, it's just, like, I don't understand. Like, I can tell the dudes who don't got to, like, or, like, I'm not saying you have to, like, we're still young. You know, I'm only 24. Obviously, I don't have my own, you know, house and everything yet. I'm right, getting, so what? But what I mean by being able to provide, like, at the end of the day, like, you know, it's, being able to provide doesn't just, like I said, majority of the women I did anyways, they're, like, they're still young. You know, we're both growing. I'm still young. By the time I'm 30, you know, of course. And, bro. What 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 you talking about when you're talking about we don't care how much money you make the the girls that you're talking to eighteen to twenty one they don't they don't even fit into that argument yes they, they do. haven't even they you... haven't even barely started their career yet but that's the problem is that you think that starting career equates to them looking for money bro I know girls out here where I'm from I'm from Everett Mass you feel I me mean? mm -hmm. like like a lot of people know Everett because we historically in Massachusetts, we have the best football team. Like everybody knows Everett in Massachusetts. Like mm -hmm. Everett is like the second or third most diverse city in Massachusetts. You know what I'm saying? Like we have a lot of Brazilians, Haitians, El Salvadorians, bro. Listen, like, yes, they do. Like girls do go for money, bro. Like I'm telling no, you. I'm talking about having their own money. No, like, girls. You, talking, you said, you said that women, like we don't care how much money a woman has. Yeah. They don't even apply to those girls, 18 to 21. But that's it's like, a, how many of them women are fucking balling out of control, got a, got a career, and, like, don't need no man like that? See, that, that's, that's you got to see how that part of it fits into your problem, which is what you're complaining about. So it's like I'm that. What I'm about is this. I'll give you a different example. You know, even do you have extravagant amounts of money, right? Right. I'm going to be one of those guys. Uh, you'll see. Um, even those guys, they deal with that, you know, because most men, I'm going to tell you the problem is, it's like me personally, I, I've, the only problem I've ever had with a woman is not like having sex, getting them. The only problem I have with a woman is a woman thinking that like, it's my job to like pedestalize them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just not going to do that. Like, cause at the end of the day, it's like, I feel like as a man, you have to bring so much more to the table. That like every like it's like let, can you agree with me that it is kind of socially standardized that like a woman is considered the prize is that not normal? I think um, I, no. Just is it yes or no? Is it normal? Is that the normal thing to say that a woman is a prize? That you've been told this since a kid. Not not for me personally, but I see what you're saying. I see the point you're trying to make, but that, that that's not true. I you say that's not true, right? So how would you go on, my, or go on my stuff and go look all the way down the comments? You tell me if you don't think that's true. Because think about it. If I say no, no, hey, listen, don't get me wrong. I, I'm not saying that there's not a lot of people that think that. I didn't go read a book to find this out. Like I, I was always, you hear girls say it all the time. You know, like, mm -hmm. like, like there, there's some girls that say that all the time. A hundred percent, you're right. Like, 
So it's like, and it's, and it's and due to feminism. But um, plus, I'm not saying feminism as a whole is bad, but there's four different brands that a lot of women don't even know. And if you really look at it, the way to, today is part of the radical feminism. It's not even a part of the original feminism movement. Original feminine movement, movement was just about giving equal opportunity for jobs, for voting, for bank accounts, for all this stuff, to give a woman the equal human right. But now it's to the point where it doesn't even feel like women even want equality more anymore. They want superiority. Hey, bro. That's not true, man. Come on, bro. You've been listening to too much Kevin Samuels. I can tell, bro. You throwing out combative and, you know, assertive. Come on, bro. <laughs> There, there's 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 women that definitely think like what you're talking about, but there's a lot of women that don't, bro. That's the really? part that we're missing here. So what? Are, so look, you could say that, but like that's two sides to an argument, then, right? Exactly. You could, so you just so that's like picking and choose to see. Say that again. It's like you're picking and choosing what you choose to see. I'm also picking and choosing who I choose to entertain, and I'm not going to entertain the ones that think that way. And you have that same capability. Of course, I, I don't do that. <laughs> Bro, but what, what, what you mean you don't? You know, you just listed off so many conditions that, like... No, 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 no. I, I didn't list as this is what a woman has to be. I listed off the as the what is an ideal woman. Ideal. Like, mm. you know, not saying that a woman has to fit all these. Like, I could date a girl who's 5'1". I could date a girl who's fucking black. I could date a girl who's Asian. It doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. Bad bitch, she's a bad bitch. Like I that's your preference, is what you're saying. So, 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 what's wrong with their preference being a guy who can provide, who's competent, yeah. re is respectful of her, and not necessarily meaning, hey, you gotta put me on a pedestal, but respectful. Is there a okay. difference there? I, well, how do you define this? A girl's like expecting you to put her on a pre pedestal. So that's pretty self-explanatory. If you put somebody on a pedestal, that means you put them above. Okay, so you're saying that, and in what way are she, is she demanding that? Can you give me, like, a practical example of that? Any reasons, you know, um, since it's been told since we was kids, like, I'm just talking about just in general. Not no fucking Kevin Samuels. I don't even watch Kevin Samuels, none of that, okay? Like, I respect the Kevin Samuels, but I don't agree with everything he said. I don't agree, like, sometimes the way he – I mean, he had – like, he's, not, he's definitely necessary. You got 300-pound – you know, 40-year-old women talking about they deserve a guy who makes 100K. Hey. Okay? Now, number two. Bro, I can't I'm... get over that fucking curtain behind you not having a rod, dog. It's just distracting. All right, but yeah. Back we to need us. to get you a fucking curtain rod. But, nah, Let funny. me send you some. DM me your address, bro. I got you. I'm going to Amazon. Go on Amazon right after this. I got I'm, you, bro. Example, put on a pedestal. Okay. So, when a woman... It affects whether it's it's when you've been I'll give you an example when you've been talked when you've been told the kid taught something since a kid historically we've been told since a kid that as a man let's be honest don't even cap if you love her go chase her you see it in movies the notebook you see it in Dear John if you love a girl go chase her go give her flowers tell her how beautiful she is every day you know mm -hmm. uh, so the the number one thing that women do like bro don't cap like this is facts the silent treatment bro like. Who told you that because you're feeling some type of way that you're allowed to just ignore somebody or do something like that? Because if a guy does it, it I'm being talked. Yeah. I'm, I'm talking, and if I just stop answering a girl or I ignore her or I don't chase her, now I'm, what are you talking about? The game was created by women. You're 100% right, man. But guess what? Like what? Everything that you're complaining about. I got a DM section full of people giving me stories of what guys doing the same exact thing to them. The silent treatment, ghosting them out of nowhere. I thought the date went good. And all of a sudden I never heard from him again. He got, I gave him the cookie. All of a sudden I never heard from him again. Uh, That's true. Right. So listen, it goes both ways. Got you again, motherfucker. See how I get his ass. Got him. Of course. But I think it's because I'm going to tell you why. Well, I think <laughs> okay, wait. So now there's an excuse for it. That's that's gonna justify it. I'm not just. So then that would make that same thing true for women. There has to be some sort of reason that can justify it. So before, I, hey, listen, I'm just trying to like, <laughs> before you say what you're gonna say, you gotta understand this is there's gonna be another side to that. No, of course you gotta challenge me. I like. 
You hey, listen. When I was DMing you, you asked me to challenge you. That's what I'm doing. I said, okay, no, I hey, want bet, no problem. I, definitely I was, uh, I want to just keep this light and fun. Let's have a conversation. He said, no, challenge me. I'm dominant. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, Mister. Now, no, go uh, ahead. With what you were saying. I'm wait, sorry. sorry. Oh, Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. So you said about women getting ghosted and stuff like this, but let, let's just keep it a stack, bro. Majority of the women who are complaining, those ain't the good-looking women, bro. So, again, there's a condition on whether or not she deserves to get that same no, treatment. Yeah, by majority, like, most of the time, like, girls who are good-looking, bro, they, guys are thirsty for them. This, they're not getting ghosted. Like, it's not happening. <laughs> It's because girls have always looked to go up. Like, girls always want to date something better. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it is what it is. That's how they are. Like, a girl, hey, hey. A girl who's a seven, she thinks she wants to go chase after a ten. Like, don't do that. Like, just mm -hmm. go with a guy who's also a seven. Yeah, you're right. Hey, so let, let me ask you this. If you were dating a 24-year-old, loyal, respectful, physically your type girl that's five six, that's, Ooh. you know, Asian, Maybe thick. You you got you feel uh, like you got yourself a baddie, right? I mean, I kind of like fit. Right. Now, let me ask you. You got yourself a baddie, right? But if a Brazilian chick walks in the room with all them same characteristics, what you doing? And she looks your way and says, what's up, Nino? Oh, how shit. How you doing? You got you to gotta fight that temptation. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. how, how, wait, what was the how strong are you? No, hold on, ask you a question. You said, what was that girl you was describing that I, I'm supposed to be with? What is she? She basically everything except for the ethnicity that you love. Okay. Uh, so, like, what? That, that, it depends. Like, I mean, damn. So, boom. Hi, that's hypergamy in reverse for the for females. You're right. It is. It's hyper. But women Got them again, ladies and gentlemen. Women hypergamy is money, but men hypergamy is fucking looks. It looks. Uh, so, we both complaining. And it's both both fucked up yeah but like my whole complaint wasn't about this stuff though my whole complaint was just simply the fact of the like like the entitlement thing you feel me like mm. just how do you just automatically assume you're that's like me automatically assume i didn't even earn it you know what i'm saying i didn't i didn't do nothing like how how, how am i just gonna say i'm a king like obviously in my head i'm gonna believe i'm a king because i believe in myself i mean i wouldn't be here if i didn't believe in myself if I didn't pray, if I didn't visualize, if I don't speak things into existence, if I don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm only going to get bigger. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, obviously, you have to believe in yourself. I respect women who believe in themselves. You know, women have a natural abundance mindset. But the only thing is this. It's like, sometimes it's like, it's annoying, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's like, I be seeing girls that I'm just like, bro. Like, and they just be like, I'm a queen. I'm this. And I'm like, no, you're not, bro. And it's like, I don't know, I'm just the type of guy, I'm just not... Then you I'm fucking like, ignore them and go talk to somebody else then. No, but like, this is the thing. Just because a girl says she's a queen, it doesn't make her a bad person. She just... I just... This is the thing. I just feel like most of the time when women have, like, that inflated sense of self and ego, it's to hide insecurity. Yeah, I, I say the same thing about guys who fucking have to yell out and proclaim that they're dominant. No, it... Remember, I t remember, I told you this. It's like, you know, sometimes you got to say it like that to get the message across. But I, I, I never, like, ever sit, yell at a girl and said I'm dominant, ever. I never said that. Like, <laughs> hey, we got you in 4K all over TikTok saying you dominant. I mean, I am dominant. <laughs> so you, so you, there, there's some insecurity is what you're saying. No, nah, that's not insecurity. I'm not having a, a inflated sense of self. That's my personality. Mm -hmm. Hey, so would you agree that a girl who's a queen should never have to say she's a queen? She should just kind of almost, like, portray those characteristics in a way that, like, makes people look at her and say, damn, you know what? Respect. Like, no, that's the problem. They don't do that. Right. So it, wouldn't it be true that a guy who's a alpha or a dominant or somebody who is that would never should never have to say that? That's true. But I never said in my video that I'm an alpha male. So I don't know where people no, are. I, you didn't say alpha, but you said dominant. Yeah, so where they get, that's how you know that they're just, they're just projecting. They're just putting stuff. Damn, why does my screen keep timing out? Like, it keeps, like, I don't know. Hey, bro, change your fucking, your battery in that damn fire alarm. I can hear that shit. <laughs> now nah, you gotta probably yeah. change the battery in your, in your phone, too. Take it off low power mode.
Oh, it is on low posse. Hold up. Give me a second. It's the phone beeping, ladies and gentlemen. They're coming for that child support. <laughs> it's timing out. Oh, no, I'm back. I'm back, baby. Okay. So, where were we? Yeah. I'm going to let you finish what you wanted to say about that. About what? Insecurity with these women that you're saying. Like, bro, like, I like we you can we can sit here and say this all the time. Like anytime I say something, we can sit here and say, Well, what are you with this? Or I can say, you know, this, or you what are you this? It's like, bro, I'm not insecure. Like I don't I, I if I was an insecure person, I would never say nothing like that publicly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't do that because if I was an insecure person, I'd be afraid of what people think about me. Mm -hmm. Confident in who I am, I don't care. Like I see people saying, Oh, you five three, I don't care. Yeah, it's what you're saying is you're 100% confident in who you are. I think the only You're just way saying that there's no way for a person like you, as secure as you are, as you as a man, there's no way for you to, under the conditions of today's society, for you to get what you're looking for in a woman. And okay. that's why that video really was I made. I think blew up so bad because, I mean, blew up so much is because I really hurt a lot of women's ego. I said a truth that they all know that they do that. like. Bro, you like you. All you gotta do is just scroll through social media. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, at the end of the day, all you gotta do is hear women when they're talking amongst themselves. <laughs> out there who are like real people. Like I'm not saying that all women are bad. All no, I just, this is just specifically for a specific female. And I guess every woman took offense to it. Like I mean, number. What well, you didn't say it was for a specific female. I you were it, talking to all the women. I did. I said why majority of beautiful or baddies if you didn't fit in that mm. category you shouldn't be offended oh so they have to have that condition the yeah. condition in which that because that's to be for you to love them those are the women you're complaining about yeah because i was trying to give got gotcha. you i was giving that makes a, sense i was given a correlation because look this is the correlation because technically right, just said that male hypergamy is look right so technically speaking in society that the most beautiful women would be the ones who have the most men, right? Would be in a relationship, correct? That would technically be the, the, the thing that people think. But a lot of work, women are the most beautiful, but maybe have great personalities. Mm. They, wait, because even these beautiful girls that you're talking about, these girls are miserable because they have an inflated sense of the ego. I know girls who ain't even that bad, but like they just confident in themselves. Like I feel like girls. So why don't you go for those girls? Because I can't do that. I guess. Why not? Why oh, right. you... They don't fit your conditions oh, for in which they need for you to love them. Why like, you can't you... do that. Nah, no, nah, no, nah, don't deflate. Why don't you go for those girls? I do, bro. No, no, you don't. A hundred percent, I do. I've had all sides of the spectrum, my friend. I, I'm not so saying... You go look at my last girl that I was in love with. That she was, she ain't no supermodel. I never said supermodel. And uh, uh, well, you're... you're talking about the hot, the baddest bitches. No, I'm, I'm not. Just, saying... I'm saying that. Okay. I'm just saying. So you can't do that. She don't do fit you, that condition. So it's like, bro, you're you, you you're making just, your own bed. You got to sleep in it now. Yeah, I like beautiful women. Everybody. Yeah. You want to eat. You want to have your cake and eat it, too. I get it. We all want that. Come on, girl. Hey, I'm, bro. You know, rich. You know, it's the same thing. It's not a big deal. Not saying that every girl you're going to get with is like a 10. I feel yeah. like you're putting way too much value in the looks department. Right. Because I mean, would you agree? Hey, listen, would you agree that a man has more to offer than just his money? Of course. I feel like men have of to. Of course. Provide. So does a woman have more to offer than just her looks? Of course. That's the one I'm talking about. That's the so what, 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 do you, what do you think women value the most in a man? Is it their money and their ability to provide? Let me ask you a question. Uh, can you answer that part? No, I'm going to answer it. Do, mm -hmm. I, personally, I think women value security more. It's an instinctive thing. You of course. So, of so, so are they wrong for wanting that? No. Right. So that, that's, that's, a, that's something that's going to affect their well-being. But I never said anything about that, though. My, my video wasn't about security. My video was about the entitlement. Entitlement of wanting security. No, entitlement of feeling like that they're above men. Mm. In what way, though? How are they, they acting like they're above men? Because I feel like if you are treating her right 
and you treat you taking care of her. But look, 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 see what you just did? You see what you just did? What? She, like taking care of her. But why mm -hmm. isn't she right and taking care of her? She should be. And if she's not, then it's okay. not being reciprocated. Look, that's the thing. I agree with that's you on that, bro, but that's not what we're talking about. Yes, I'm talking is. about the no, fact you just, that... You want to know why you just proved my point? Because the first thing that everybody thinks of in their head is a man treating me right. Right. Men are taught as children how to keep and treat a woman. Yeah. But women are not taught as children how to um, keep or treat There's a, a lot of women out there. Okay, see, but you're Who? only talking about one type of woman. Who? You, just, you are talking about one type of woman, the quote-unquote baddies that ain't treating you no, right. Okay, all right. In that video, yes, but I was just talking about on this point. That, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Nino. You know what we're talking about. All right, look, look, look. All right, so my question. So I want all the women in the chat right it now. It don't make no sense. All the women in the chat right now, how do you keep a man? Tell me. Because I guarantee you all of them are going to say that I have my own career. <laughs> I have this. Like, I have money. Like, but Come on. do you really nine times out of ten and every out of majority of the relationships you see like like we could sit here and try to play this like you know yeah we ain't having this conversation it's, listen but i want to get back to the point you're freezing up on me dog nino where you going i, I hope your battery di dying on me damn we lost him we lost him Nino, we was it was just getting good. The chicatery, shit. Ladies and gentlemen, we lost him. Let him go charge his phone and come back. Shit. <laughs> good lord. <laughs> oh, he sent me a request. Here he goes. Let me get him back. Where's he at? The heartbreak kid. Where you at? Hey, yo, my phone. I'm, I'm back. Bro, you got to put your phone on the charger. No, my, I, I got to. My, nah, it's just what happened. Was, hold up. Hey, fucking, yo, we got to start GoFundMe for this man's fucking curtain rod, dog. No, Somebody my, start my, GoFundMe right now. Curtain rod is cool. Nah, it's just fucking. I went on another tab. But, um, but yeah, what were you saying? Um, <clears throat> what was I saying? Hold oh, on. Yeah, yeah. Back to like, you know, treating a man or know how to keep a man. Hey, so, let me uh, ask you a question. Out of majority of relationships that you see, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I just be telling it how it is. Like, who is the main person who is provided? For the most part? Financial. Men. men. Okay, okay. Men, but, right? but, but, but. No, 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 no. Okay, go ahead. I'll let you finish. Okay. Majority of relationships you see is a man providing, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to traditional, know, quote unquote. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course, of course. So the majority of relationships that we see today is the men providing financially. Today? So let me ask you a question. Of today in history? In, in history, more so than today. Well, and in, in today it's still the same. You know what I'm saying? So Not it's the like, same. Come on, bro. Majority of relationships, men are the main provider. This is a the fact. main provider, but you're saying that it's the same as the, in history? No, I didn't say that. I said throughout you history. Did, you did say that. You just no, said I that, didn't. bro. No, I didn't. <laughs> We're going to replay this later. You're going to see you said that. No, no, no. What you I'm saying is that women are contributing now more than they were before in the past. Oh, absolutely. Women are definitely okay. contributing now more. But that's not what yeah. I said. History, majority of the time, men are the more pro uh, majority provider. Yes, in history before, women couldn't get jobs. I get that. Mm -hmm. But you brought up history. I didn't bring it up. I'm just talking about now. Mm -hmm. okay. So now let me ask you a question. A man is providing financially. What is a woman doing? You tell me, what do you want her to do? No, I didn't, I didn't say that. I said, what are they doing? What are they doing or what should they be doing? No, I didn't ask. I said, what are they doing? What, do you, what are majority of women doing? You tell me. Contributing to the household in whatever way is necessary. It depends on the but, dynamic of the relationship. Does she have a job? Does she not have a job? Do they have kids? Do they not have kids? It's not a one size fits all, bro. Of Everybody's course. situation is different, right? You can say that about everything, but that's why there's statistics, okay? So look. Bro, you going to read me off of Kevin Samuels' statistics again? No. Come on. I don't even watch the... Bro, how you repeating all his bars? 
I'm, I'm, <laughs> Come on, dog. I got I, you. I, I, let's be honest. There's a reason why he has over a million subscribers because the dude, yeah. dude, dude There's back. a lot of frustrated men out there. I understand. Party. Hey, don't get me wrong. I understand. I, I get no, 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 this no, no, frustration. No. But what it is is a lack of understanding on both sides. Like we've Party. proved time and time again in this conversation. Majority of his subscribers are women, not men. Okay. So like, what, like no, that's not true. So <laughs> just like, just like everyone he thinks majority of my subscribers are Come on, men. Uncle Samuel's. There you go, Uncle Samuel's. Just like people think majority of my my uh, my followers are men. No. Mm -hmm. 90% of my followers are women. Mm. There's so many women that have hit me up and said, yo, I agree with you. So why don't you talk to some of the men that you that we talked about that are bums? I do talk to them. But what is that, what is that gonna do? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna tell a man, there's bums, there's yeah. already the channels out there telling men to get this shit together. Okay, but you see how there's two sides of that? There's of course. Two sides. There's, two, there's two sides to the problem. What's the problem? Well, the, everything that we're talking about right here. Said that you did. Do we not establish say, that majority of guys know their role, though? I mean, every guy I've ever met knows what every guy that I know is in a relationship is in Massachusetts. In Massachusetts, yeah. Well, I got a lot of dude, I got a lot of ladies in the DMs right now telling me stories about a lot of dudes that don't know their role. Really? Or who, or who also feel a sense of entitlement, like you're complaining about. So all I'm saying, my friend, no, is there's that always. There's all there's literally two sides of the argument, there's you know, and we're choosing to argument. talk about this one. You there's see, always two sides but, of every argument, I and you can't that. control anybody but yourself. Would you agree with that? Of course, you I can't. Can. You can't control ladies. You can't control other men. No. The only person that you have control over is yourself, right? So, would you agree with the statement that you attract what you reflect? No, because opposites attract. Okay, so. So if you want what you're looking for, you need to be the opposite of that. No, but I, we're talking about just in relationships. I feel like I don't want a girl who's the same as me. I don't want a girl who's dominant like me. I don't want that. Right. What, what I'm not. What I'm saying is not not attracting the same exact thing. But by be but what you are oh, attracts a certain thing, right? Of course. I mean, but like, what is that thing? You gotta be so. Specific. So again, the like, women you're complaining about, if you want to attract. The woman you want, you need to be that the man that she wants, right? You attract of what course. you reflect. Oh yeah, right. Absolutely. So what 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 did I say earlier? Who's the only person in this world that you can have control over? It's yourself, of course. Exactly. So instead of complaining about why everybody is the way they are, why not just be the way you want to be for the because person that you want to to want you? Because this is the thing. There's already millions of channels out there. There's already millions of things of. You know, it's like no, no, no. Hold up, bro. You, you didn't answer I'm, that question. If you want what you want, and the only person in this world you can control is you, wouldn't it make the most sense just to become the person, focus on you, and become the person that's gonna attract the person you want? Of course. I mean, that's what I do. Of course, I. You know what I'm saying? I do. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I mean. I hate to see it's because of this, you know. I'm gonna be because I hate to I hate seeing like the story with Brittany Rhino taking a man. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't laugh. That's true. No, I know. I was just talking about it the other day. It's fucked. It's, it's fucked, fucked up, you know. And then you see boy me, got the boy got played. That's a two hundred thousand dollar a month nut. He did you know like hey, that. Like wrap it up, ladies and gentlemen, all the fellas, wrap that shit up. Absolutely. And then you see, you know, and then you Pull see out. like. That Dr. Dre having to pay his wife like two hundred thousand a month until she gets married again, or like, how does that even make any sense? Like, that's that just, you know, what I'm saying? good as mine, my friend. I but here's one thing that I acknowledge is I don't know shit about that situation. I, I don't know what the what the media tells me, and fucking I don't know shit about that. So it's not my business to even no, judge. That's, you. That's You're public, right. That's public information. That's public information. That's that's in the courts. Uh, well, again, I can't control any of them. I can only control myself. Of course, I'm not here to control people. I'm here to enlighten people. Mm. Like I'm not like that's what I'm saying. It's like I was just passionate about it because I I hate seeing in society like that more and more men and women are starting to split. Like people want to like be okay with being single. Like I feel like the country 
that we live in and just society. I feel like society is running together. Mm. Instead of women, you know, feeling like they're entitled, even though guys, guys feel like they're entitled or like, even I feel like men just don't know their role today too. There's a lot, there's some men who out there don't know their role. There's women out there who don't know their role. Like this, I believe in like a team. Like I don't believe men and women in relationships are supposed to be equal. I feel like men and women in relationships are supposed to be balanced. They're supposed to balance each other out. You I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like as a woman, you balance him out and he balances you out. You know, he's the rock and you're the heart. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I feel like that's like, it's supposed to be a balanced thing. And I, it's not like that I am coming at women. It's just that it's annoying to see a lot of like young women who like have the potential to be really great, but they just focus on the wrong things. And like, we can't sit here and not address the fact that there's so many, like, you, you can go up on it. And these YouTube channels, they have, like, fucking hundreds and fifty, hundreds of, just like you, everyone always tries to come at cameras and stuff like that. Bro, they got female channels the same way. Teaching mm -hmm. women and how yeah. to learn. Addressing the chicanery. I'm saying that's, that's what we're doing. We're you know addressing the bullshit, the chicanery, the hypocrisy. The that hypocrisy. goes on on both sides. There's a lot of hypocrisy. We can't deny that. But, like, let's keep it a buck, though, like, I never said anything misogynistic on my channel. Facts. And if you can name one thing that I said that was hateful or prejudiced to women, I'd like to hear it. We're going to do a full investigation. Do the full investigation. <laughs> Listen, but what? I, you never answered this question. Yeah, I'll answer what's up. The looks. Yeah, got it. That's a condition that you can't let go of. Because look, there's a reason. You, I'll give you two reasons. You're putting a lot of weight on that one. Hey, don't get me wrong. I I don't disagree with the fact that that factors in. That's important. Of course, that, that, that's some, somebody who takes care of themselves is something that is to be respected and to be admired about somebody. But it, how much weight goes on that? In the looks department. Mm hmm I mean, looks do. Feel how much does that matter? How much of the pie does that matter to you? I'm not, I'm not even going to cap with you, bro. It, it matters a lot. Like, I can't even lie. Boom. And I, there's your problem right there, my friend. I can't you even lie. I'm going to keep it a stack, bro. I'm gonna if that's it. the kind of cake you want to eat, you got to be prepared to come <laughs> I, what I, it comes I, with. I, I respect it, bro. I'm, gonna put, I'm, I'm working on myself. Hey, you know? like, hey I, then you know I, what? If that's the kind of cake you want, become the kind of chef that can make that cake. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about, like, but, like, maybe You ain't my the chef that's going to make that cake, though, right now. But, it's okay. You'll get there. Just be patient. Oh, no, Focus I, I, on you. You'll get I, there. I know. I believe in you, Nino, bro. I believe in you. I listen to your songs, bro. You're pretty good, too. This man you. got. This man does music. Appreciate you, bro. He, uh, what's that, the name of that song you got? I don't want women to think that, like, I hate women or nothing, because I don't hate women. Like, honestly, I actually admire women a lot, though. You know what I'm saying? I think women, um, in 95%, I think in 95% of the relationships, I think women are running the relationship. Not men, to be honest with you. So, oh, oh, okay. Are those successful relationships? Or are they, are, are you talking about like the average relationship? I just feel like the average relationship, the woman is definitely wearing the pants. Are they, are they, are now, are those successful? Or are they? I don't know. No. I don't know who are going to be together. I mean, usually when I do see a woman lead, lead in the relationship, it usually doesn't last long. Mm. Usually, like, the guy, he ends up, like, either cheating on her so she leaves him or, mm. like, like... But you're um, saying in a majority of them. So, of course, if it's a majority of them, there's got to be a percentage of well, them that are successful. I'm not saying that that's every relationship. Just the ones I've seen, like, when a woman is really, like, leading the relationship... You said 95%, right? It's, like, most of the time is the women's wearing the I've pants. i relationships today, and it's because most... Like, I feel like a lot of guys are... Say again? I feel like a lot of guys are simps, like they're feminized. Mm. So you're saying the guys in those relationships are simps? Yeah. Mm. So in order for you to have a successful relationship, you got to be a simp? I mean, that's what women are making it seem like for a lot of guys. That's what they're trying I to think that's. I think that's the narrative that you're making it seem like, my bro. Because I, I, I don't think being oh. a balanced partner makes you a simp. You said we got to be uh, relationships got to be balanced. So what is? Right? But we didn't. Ask, we I said that in my argument was that I feel like majority of relationships women are leading the relationships. That's not balanced. There's always a leader. 
So, so, it's, no, it's, yeah, exactly. So that's we, not balanced. We could sit here and we could talk hypothetically, but mm. can we just establish like the law of polarity? Yeah, go ahead, hit me with it. No, like you know what that is, right? Yeah, my boy Romeo knows way more about that than I do, but yeah, go but ahead. Everything is the law of polarity, meaning there's always a yin and a yang. There's always an up and a down. You can't have one without the other. You can't have light without mm -hmm. dark. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't, there can never be a beautiful woman if there wasn't an ugly one. There can never be a fat guy if there wasn't a skinny guy. No, this is a fact. <laughs> it's, it's funny, but it's true. You, like, you can't have something, you can't have a bad guy without a good guy. You know what I'm saying? So that is the law of polarity. You can't have a leader without a follower. You can't have a follower without a leader. There's, there's no relationship ever, ever. It doesn't exist. It's not science. It's right. Not, every relationship has somebody who's leading and someone who's following. It's just how it goes. Right. So that's what makes it balance is there's that. There's one, course, there's there's one side of the equation and then there's the other so, side of the equation. Therefore, it's balanced. Of course. So but if the female is the one that's being the leader, then all of a sudden now – it's not balanced no, just because I, I she's just, a female? I, no, I'm not saying that. I just feel like this. I'll, I'll give you an example. But before we say anything, you did just acknowledge that there is a leader and a follower, though. You acknowledge that. Yeah, I'm going along with your 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 analogy. <laughs> you, you know, you you just said yes. I, you agree that that's Yeah, I'm a, going with your analogy. Of course. No. There, there's a leader and there's a follower. So that would that's filling out both sides of the equation, meaning that there's balance. Yes, yeah, of right? course. So now, if the woman is leading in the relationship and the man is following, is that not a balanced relationship, which is what you earlier said was what yeah. it takes to make a balanced, uh, successful relationship? Yeah, that has to so, be something. Has to boom, we got his ass again, ladies and gentlemen. I don't even know what you just said. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, wasn't even, I was just listening to you, so I don't know, even know what you just said. I don't even know. Bro, got his ass again. You gotta, you gotta restate your point. I don't even know what you were saying. I was, I thought you was, I don't even know. We established earlier that a ba a balanced relationship, a, a relationship should be balanced. Yes. Mhm. Mm and a leader and a follower is two sides of an equation that would would make it balanced. Correct. Yeah, but I made the so if the feet and you said earlier that ninety five percent of relationships are led by females, they're the one that wear the pants, meaning oh, that I the mean, male is following them. Yeah. Therefore, if there's a leader and a follower, there's a balance. Yeah. Therefore, it works. It, it works. A balance works, but that doesn't mean that necessarily so, that if a woman's leading a man, she's gonna respect him. Because, like, let's think about it, right? Of course. If, uh, a leader's got to respect her, their follower, and the follower has to respect of their course. leader. I mean, I just don't – I just personally don't think – Well, in order for the leader to respect the follower, that, that follower's got to be a good follower. In order for the follower to respect the leader, the leader has to be a good leader. Of course. And that's why I believe that, like – We complain about respect, but you see how there's conditions to that respect. It, this uh, brings it all know. full circle right here. Oh, uh, no, no, no. I don't, I don't know what you just said, but this is what I'm saying. I'm saying that in a relationship, there's always a leader and a follower, whether that's a girl and a guy, a guy leading a girl. I'm just saying that in majority of successful relationships that we see, that I, that majority of people know of that have lasted the test of time, the man is always the leader and the woman is always the follower. Well, you just said that 95% of relationships are yeah. led by women. 95% of relationships are run by women. I also said that 95%, I also said majority of relationships today are not lasting. I also said that majority of people today are single. Mm -hmm. You understand how this is working? Mm -hmm. And yeah. So you think it's because the women are leading? Yeah, I just don't think in relationships women are good leaders. I think that leading happens in certain under certain circumstances. Whoever's more proficient in a certain area is the person that should be leading. Would you agree? Whoever's better at the job, yes. Right. Then that person should be leading. I, I know my shit when it comes to this, so I'm going to lead on this. You know your shit when it comes to that, so I'm going to let you lead on that. Right. that that's balance right there. I see, I see where you're going with that, but that's not what I'm talking about. 
I'm just yeah, talking. I think there's a massive un misunderstanding of the opposite side, and I think there's a lot of ego involved. Oh, no, and that's why there's there's a a wall kind of in in place for us to get to that understanding because the ego is sitting there in the in the middle and saying, "No, you feel." I, no, I think. I would you agree that there's there's some egos that's preventing people from understanding the other side? I think on both sides. Yeah, a hundred percent. I agree. 100%. 100%. And that's why a majority of relationships don't work because people got their egos mixed up with trying to understand the other side. I and and that they, they, they get too emotional about, you know, what the other side is saying instead of trying to I, come to an understanding of why they're saying it. I, that's why I brought you on. I want to know why you were saying the, what I, you were saying. I, I'm not, I didn't bring you on to attack you, bro. I know that, of course. You know, I want to understand and I want other people to understand yeah, yeah, because yeah. there's a lot of guys out there that I know feel the same way you do, right? Majority of guys, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I'm so we got to, we got to figure it out, bro. Remember how we just talked about the ego thing? I think the ego thing is I think women are given, like it's like women only. I feel like a lot of women today, they have a really big victim mindset that they just assume that men are always trying to control them. It's like that's not what we're saying. Like I'm saying as a, as a man, I believe in general. And we, and men think that women are just trying to take advantage of them. Absolutely. So there we go. There's there's problems on both sides. So as long as we can acknowledge that, oh, these are her concerns. Let me be considerate yeah, of that, and they can be considerate of what we feel. Then all of a sudden, we can find a happy medium and coexist. <gasps> you yeah, see? I, yeah, I, I I would love, to, but that's just not the reality right now. Like that's what I'm trying to say. Like it's not that. Like of course, in my perfect worlds in La La Land. Okay, I would yeah. love to, I just. All the women and all the men can come together and we say this is what we want and do like this, right? But let me ask you a question. Majority of the, the guys that women are attached to, the guys that women fall in love with, are not the guys. The guy that I'm sorry, you broke up, bro. What'd you say? I said major it sounds good, but majority of the relationships that or the guys that women actually are in love with are the guys who emotionally hurt them. Why is that? Why does a girl want a guy who don't want her? It's for validation. <laughs> Why does the guy want a girl who don't want her? You know what I'm saying? Like, why do we want what we don't have? For validation. You know, we your own self-esteem issues. Look, it's something that you're thinking that if you if you can't get their approval, then all of a sudden that means there's something wrong with you. Facts. So you see, you're really chasing their validation when you boil it down. It just goes back to human nature. Consciously, we can say whatever the fuck we want, mm -hmm. but some different story. It's a matter of perspective, I feel like, bro. I think it's just a matter of perspective and just basically taking accountability for what you can control, which is yourself, you know? You, hey, listen, I agree with you. There's fucked up shit on both sides, right? Well, like I said before, there's only one person in this world that I can control. That's me, right? And, and the way I act... I wasn't even talking about that, though. We was talking about, you know, you, you just I'm said... I'm talking it. about taking accountability, bro. No, you know, but you, we were just talking about validation, though, right? Wanting what we don't want. That's a matter yeah. of perspective. So the person who wants that person that they can't have that's rejecting them. Not, that has nothing to do about perspective. That has to do with biological reasons. It doesn't. No, I'm, I'm saying that it, my argument is that it is about perspective. So how is that it? You don't think it isn't? It is about perspective oh, because so. you're, you're saying that most people who want who they, they can't have or that is rejecting them, it's almost like if you boil it down, there's there's something there that's like why 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 what what why am I not good enough? So really, what are you doing? You're you're trying to get that validation. So like instead of looking at it like that, you could look at it in a different way, which is where the perspective shift comes into play. The perspective shift is that hey, that person is just not right for me, and I'm being stubborn, and I need to go find something else. That there's nothing wrong with me. That I just don't, I need to accept that that person requires somebody else. There's somebody else that's better for them than I am. So I'm not made to fit in that puzzle right there. Okay, I got to be cool with that. That doesn't mean there's anything wrong with my puzzle. I just got to go find where I fit in. That's uh, the perspective bro, difference. Let me talk now. Like, you're rambling a little bit. Let me just want to say this. <laughs> I asked you a simple question. I said, what does perspective mean by definition? Perspective is the way you look at something. The way you look at something, the way you look right. at something. Right, and I just gave you an example. That's what I was doing. No, yeah, but we were talking about validation. Validation has nothing about the way you look at something. Validation has to do about how you feel about yeah. something. 
I see you. I know, I know, I know. I was talking so you about that argument to fit no. the, that you're trying to put. I understand you have a lot of female fans, so you're trying to fit that narrative. I understand it. I respect I'm trying it. to give everybody this narrative. This goes no. for guys, too. You can't say perspective, but then talk about feelings. Perspective has nothing to do about feelings. I wasn't talking about that. You missed my point of that. No, but we're talking about validation. Were we not? Yeah, and then I was talking that about the perspective of achieving that validation. I wasn't just talking about validation. I wasn't talking about that. I talked about why do human beings in relationships, men and women, men and women, why do we want somebody we can't get? Because it has to do with how we operate, how we're made. Human, it's natural human nature that we want what we can't have. Can we establish that? There is studies and, and yeah. science. Now, I can't establish that because I was just giving you a counter argument to that. No, I'll get it. I agree. Okay. I think that there's, I just feel that what I was trying to say is I feel like there's a different way to look at yeah. it. I don't think it's human nature. I think it, maybe uh, that no. that's kind of what we, that's what we like default to. It's very easy to feel the way that you're talking about, but I also feel but like there's a not, way to look at it a different way and address no, it. I'm not going to do that. Wait, is this no. Not there's nothing to do about defaulting to it. Right, yeah. We, that's a, that's you know, we need to get get on the more pressing concerns. That's a, that's a subconscious reaction. That has nothing to do about, like, why would I defaultly want somebody I don't care, that doesn't you want? You said it was human nature. Yeah, what's human nature? That's a default. Subconscious. It's not something conscious. Like, consciously, I'm telling myself, or a girl says subconsciously, subconsciously she knows she doesn't want this piece of shit, but, but subconsciously she still wants them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah. it's not, it's not a conscious thing. It's not a conscious thing. But like, let's get some more questions. Like, I don't want like, I just want to just. Did we get that GoFundMe going? <laughs> we gotta get you that shit, that fucking curtain, dog. That curtain rod. <laughs> nah, we need about. I need to send you some batteries too. Can you send me your address after we get off here so we can send that over? <laughs> that's the thing. I, that's why. Like, I usually don't like talking about. Hey, listen, I feel like, look, we gave an opportunity to, like, you know, for you to vent your, your, the way you, you're thinking, because I know there's a, probably a lot of other guys who think the same way, and that's, that's cool, I understand, I, hey, listen, I feel for you, because, like, hey, it's frustrating, but here's the thing, also, you gotta realize, bro, you young as fuck, bro, 24, I thought you was 37, nah, you looking nah. like a whole grown-ass little man out here, and he flexing on him. Absolutely. Very blessed. Shit. I just feel like you there's there's a lot for you to 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 learn in these next of ten course. years. At the end of the day as people, we I'm still young. I see myself as a student of life. I'm still growing, I'm still learning, you know what I'm saying? And maybe in a couple of years I won't think the same way. Yeah. Maybe. I think it just that comes with time and experience, right? And like it, it all of a sudden perspective oh. changes and then boom, it's like, okay, you know what? I don't really give a shit about I'm that ain't even my type anymore. Your type is going to change. I'm telling you right now it's going to change. <laughs> nah, that's not going to change. Like yeah, that is cuz I used to be you. <laughs> I used to be you. So, so you think that yeah, but in, I see myself 5 10 years from now, I see myself as like a billionaire to be honest. Hey. Like, like a, then a, you a, hey bro. So hey, I think what well, you think once you get there then you know, you're going not going to have to have this discussion right at the end of the end of the day like it really comes down to this like i just want i want to make this very clear like please let me say this Go ahead. To, i just want to say make this very clear like i personally i don't hate women i love women like i just feel like why like why can't you just like like get your money cool be independent like cool that's cut fine be a boss like in your work field but mm -hmm. when you come home like just be peaceful just be cooling, like you know. What I'm saying I, I, I'm not saying that. Like, if a girl wants to generally take care of me financially, I just feel like as a man, it's just like I just can't do that. That's not the type of relationship I want. But that's just me. I would want a relationship where, you know, what I'm saying like, well, you could be I the dog. Like, I feel like, in a, I feel like with um, with actions comes behavior. Mm -hmm. So, I give you an example. Usually, single moms who my my mom was a single mom, a single mom. Mm -hmm. Usually, like, single moms, which I see other single moms who I know a lot of girls who are single. I mean, where I'm from, there's a lot of single moms. <laughs> but usually single moms, you know, what do they usually have to do if the guy's not around, you know? 
Um, they have to go out and work and provide for their family, right? So naturally, that woman's going to move more into her masculine energy. You know what I'm saying? Usually, a single mom who's taking care of kids is not going to sit around being, oh, baby, no. She's going to have to be more dominant. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo. No, no, no. she got to be dumb on it. Yeah, she's going to be more. Say it, bro. Let me hear yeah. it one time. She's going to be more dominant. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 bro. Come on. I know you got it. You got it in you. It's better than that. Hit me with it one time. How she got to be? No, she just got to be dominant. Nah, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> I can't, I can't uh, but hold on. I just want to get to the point, though. I got to get to the point. She got to be dominant. She can't just be dominant. She got to be dominant. Yeah, she's going to be dominant. Like, I mean, if you're anybody who's grown got up. got to. That's the only way she's going to survive and take care of you, right? Absolutely. She has to be that way. And I, that's why I always love and respect my mom, you know what I'm saying? Because she was a single mom at 21, you know what I'm saying, Um, with me. So it's like. She done a lot for me, and I'm just so grateful and so appreciative of her. You know, a lot of these people, like, a lot of people don't even respect their parents, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just very grateful for that. Like, at the end of the day, like, you only have one mother. So it's like your mother's love is a different type of love. Obviously, for some people, their mothers are not lovable or don't love them or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I would say for most people, like, your mom is like, like, I would rather choose my mom over my dad, like, to keep it a stack. You know what I'm saying? Because my dad was yeah, like that. And rest in peace to my father. I love my father. You know what I'm saying? But... You know what I'm saying? Like, he, like I still was able to be around my dad. He taught me how to be more masculine and stuff. But, like, when it really comes down to it, like, you know, I'm going to choose my mom every time. You feel me? Because she really, like, unconditionally loved me. You dig what I'm saying? Like, 100%. He, you know what I'm I understand what you're saying. But, but that, how, she both had to, how she had to be in her masculine to, to, to be. Oh, without a doubt. My mom, my, you know what I'm right. saying? Yeah, all my like, yeah, all the people in my family. And that's the person you love and unconditionally because she did what she had to do. Of to course, take, to right? take care. Of course, so you, that can be true for a woman that you're interested in that you can call your wife. Nah, my mom, though, I don't want a woman like I, I don't look at my mom like in a the same characteristics that your mom has. If she wasn't in a woman, if those characteristics were in a woman that's in front of you, you wouldn't admire and respect that. No, this is the thing. I know, what you're, I know what you're saying. Yes, I get what you're saying. Like, I've had, I've been with a relationship with a woman like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, where, like, she was more like, like, what girls try to pay for me type shit. Like, girls paying for me and shit. I realized, like, over patterns, because I've told you, I've dated a lot of different women. Like, the girls who are, like, always trying to pay for me, like, they, they would act more dominant and try to, like, like, control me in a way and, or, like, have a certain type of tone that they talk right. with. That didn't sit well with you, right? That was Not, like, uh, like, bro, like, chill. I like, right. and, but the women that I was in relationships with, where obviously, like, I've made a must, I made, I made, I made mistakes in the past where, like, they were more like not like that. They were more like the submissive, feminine type of woman. So what happened to them? It felt more natural to me. It just felt better. That's just my opinion. Like, I'd rather be with a woman who's just calmer, you know? Gotcha. Not, For the I, more type and the, more in their feminine type so what happened with them how come those ones didn't work out those are the ones which that, ones the, the submissive ones honestly <laughs> i like you bro you're a small motherfucker you're a small motherfucker what happened? you're a small motherfucker nah bro because there's women watching this bro you know what i'm saying like they're gonna be like oh i don't want to be the oh, guy bro, my audience knows oh, my we can't because i don't want to be um, the guy we they we tell my like, I tell my audience shit they don't want to hear all the time. Yeah, because it, I don't want women to I call y'all out. <laughs> it's okay, I'll keep it a stack. It's because like I don't want women to think, oh, that's the reason why I'll never be like that. That's why, cause this guy's like him. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the reason why I don't want women to think every guy's like that. I, listen, 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 like, like your your perspective. That's the only way we gonna get to a solution is if we can understand your perspective. Of course, of course, and that's what I'm saying. I want to preface before I'm about to say with this. I fucking made a mistake. I'll say with one, this one girl, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really fucked that up. Like, I, like, you know what I'm saying? Because I've never had that. I was so used to, like, with the dominant type of women that I'm like, fuck. Like, I didn't know what to do with a submissive type of woman at that time. And that's why I know now, like, wow, like, if I, like, how valuable that is, bro. Mm. Like, how valuable a feminine submissive woman is because they're so hard to come by, bro. You know, mm. most women, but they're not going to be like that. So it's like when you do get a, a feminine, submissive, like real genuinely good woman who really cares about you, it's like, like, bro, like you got like if, if there's guys watching this, bro, you, 
if you got a girl like that, bro, you better fucking keep that girl, bro, because that those girls are like God's gift to this earth, bro. Like no so, bullshit. Like, so what happened? Nah, I see what you're trying to do. Um, I don't understand what what the big deal is. What happened? You fucked up. You yeah, said up, right? I, so like, I just felt like you know I I basically took it for granted. You took it for granted. Yeah. And you you got caught messing around on her. Yeah, no, just like. Not even that, like, just to keep it a stack, just, like, just taking it for granted, like, just not appreciating it, you know? Um, you know, just, like, I'll give you an example, like, where, like, she would call me or whatever, and i just ignore her. Mm. Just ignore her fucking, I, I remember I, I blocked her for, like, a whole week, and then unblocked her, like, I'm like, what? Like, and I didn't know, because I just didn't care, like, at the time. I was like, because I was always expecting, like, I was always dealing with women who are playing games. That, mm. like, it's easy. Bro, you gonna love my podcast, bro. No, because, look, I was always dealing with women where they made it so, like, where I was always, like, this game where, like, you had to, like, you know what I'm saying? Text her, she gonna take fucking five hours to reply. So then, fuck it, I gotta take, like, five hours to reply. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this hot and cold type of fucking game where, like, why can't we just be real? So then when I finally got a girl who was like, she was chasing me, you know, she, she was making it mad easy. I was like, oh, I'm just thinking in my head, you know, is this a game? Oh, like, I'm like, I didn't know what to do. Like, so I was always in game mode. I was like, nah, like, she's going to make this easy. Fuck it. I'm going to do this. You know what I'm saying? Like, thinking like this is what I had to do. You know what I'm saying? Because I was so used to dealing with women where they always playing fucking games. You dig know what I'm saying? And it's annoying that when I finally got a girl like who didn't do that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I fucked it up, like, to the point, like, she hates me now, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, she, like, cries and everything, like, and I feel bad, bro, because I feel like a piece of shit because of that, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, wow, you know what I'm saying? But, like, she probably did that to another guy, too, before, you know what I'm saying? She, she has every right to hate you, though, right? Huh? You would say that she has every right to hate you in that in that situation because of the way you handled that? I'm thinking in my head that she's going to fucking think that every guy's a pe now she's going to think that and she's gonna, she's probably going to do it I what I to another guy. Boom. You see what I'm saying? If that's what I'm going back to this circle where like a girl that was hurt by another guy, she probably hurt me and then a guy who's hurt, he hurts a girl and then it just goes back in a big circle where we're just all hurting each other instead of just being like, "You know what? This person hurt me. That person hurts you." Like, okay, cool. Why can't we just start from some scratch? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what you want. I know what I want. Like, let's just fucking do this, bro. Like, we don't need to do all these games. It's unnecessary. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like more women are more afraid of getting hurt emotionally than guys. So they're, like, even if they want to, I feel like they just not. Especially with a guy like me. You know what I'm saying? Like, with every girl I've ever talked to, they always say, oh, I could tell you're a player. Or I, I could tell. Like, I already know. You know well, what I'm saying? I don't even get a fair chance. I wonder how. Why? why what makes him say that? I don't fucking know, bro. That's what I be asking. You don't know? No. Bro. How do you look like a player? That don't even make any sense. Bro, I'm not, I have a co-worker who, work me, who works with me. She's an older lady, too. <laughs> I don't know either, bro. Yo, wait, how, hey, does, it, how does that hey, What's the caption say? <laughs> Yo, you funny, bro. Bro, Yo, it's a mystery. I don't want. I don't understand why they they think I'm a player. Yo, that, 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 I'm, I'm as lost as you are. But like, obviously, it's just a caption. It's just to be cool. But like, if you look at a girl, like, oh, she she's a bad bitch or something. Like, that doesn't mean she's really like gonna play you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm always gonna play it safe, but to each his own. Uh, you yeah. want to go? Put your heart on the line. Have fun. You want to play the game? Get ready to get played. Then yeah, yeah, that's look, what's gonna happen. Hey, you, you playing me. the game? That's hey, gonna be what you deal with. You want to <laughs> take? I wish you nothing but the best. But like today, with with the options that women have with Instagram, Tinder, like with, mm. I, I I'm not taking that risk, bro. Like with like just giving a girl 100 percent everything. Like I gotta see that she's doing it first because she got what the The girl that was like that that girl we were just talking about. But, like, the thing is, even though I did that, that doesn't mean she wasn't talking to another guy. But you said that you... <laughs> hey, like, she liked me more, I guess. I was just more her type. So, but you said that you messed up with her. That you wish you had, you could get her back? No? No, I don't wish I can get her back, but I just know that next time I get a girl... Like that. 
Yeah, like that. I know what to do. Okay. So what 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 would you do in that situation then? If I had a girl doing that, what would I do? Just be grateful, bro. Be appreciative. Like, you know, just tell her, like, you know, if say for she's doing something for me, like every time, just tell her, like, yo, like, yo, I'm grateful for you. Like, thank you for doing that. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Just be a really good person. Like, like I'm naturally not like a bad person. Like, I just can't right. just like it. It bothers me, like, like hurting somebody. Like, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes it's like, it's like it seems like sometimes that like, girls don't even feel afraid to hurt you. You know what I'm saying? You're like, damn, bro, like, you just gonna like, like I'll give you an example. Bro, well, felt when you were doing. Hold on, hold on. I'll give you an example right now. Like I'm not gonna say her name or whatever. She's probably fucking on this live. You feel me? Because um, I guess her current boyfriend now. Like I see him, he be looking at my stuff and shit. Like and I fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? Like I fucked with him. I knew him in school and shit like that. But like, dog, like, she was complaining to me. And plus, I made mistakes too. You know what I'm saying? But you know, we had a situation where like. Basically, bro, we stopped talking because, like, I said she wasn't even that cute. I was like, you're not even that cute. But it was only because of this, bro. Like, I was like, damn, like, I'm really fucking with her. Like, I want to get in a relationship with her, probably. This is why, this is why, like, this was, like, the first time I did this in a long time. Because every single, like, the last time I did this, I was, like, 15, where I tried to initiate a relationship. And every single time I've done it, bro, it always goes downhill. This is why I don't do it. And I just let the girl do it. Like, that girl that was, like, the one chasing me and shit, like, she was the one who would try to initiate a relationship with me. And what you know, were you doing during that time when you when she started initiating with you? What were you focused on in life? Shit. I don't know. I, I wasn't focused on a relationship. Huh? What were you focused on? Shit, like, just getting over another girl. And what way? Just emotionally, like I was attached to this girl from Puerto Rico, bro. Um, That's why the dance. Attached yeah. to her a couple minutes, bro. Like not even attached, like I was in love with her, but more attached to like, damn, like she was beautiful, fucking, like she was exactly my type. You know what I'm saying? And then I was stuck on that for a little bit, mm. and then I met her, the girl that was chasing me. So like I really like she wasn't really like she didn't match up. I feel like she wasn't like it didn't match up or wasn't better. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like, it's hard to get over somebody who doesn't match. And keep it, let's keep it a stack. Most of the people that we're attached to is either, like, the best person we had. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Usually physically or financially or, you know what I'm saying? Because it's hard. Somebody to who made you feel different than the, uh, the rest. Yeah. Like, you're, like, you feel the best. I'm going to keep it a stack with you to this day. Like, I don't have any feelings for her. But, like, damn, I still, I, I'd be like, damn, like, that. I want to hit that again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Facts. I do be thinking that. Like, fuck, I would love to. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. Now, I would love to do that again, but but I wouldn't, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and I was just like, <laughs> Bullshit. If she tries to hit me up now, I'm ignoring her. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, I'm ignoring you. Like, I'm moving on to better things. But, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to give it a stack. But, Bro, um, I think there's one point to take away from this whole thing that we're talking about right here. Is you said, well, if you were to find another girl like her, you would just tell her how grateful you were for her more no. often. But definitely it with my actions, though. Like, right. So you would, would, you would, and with your actions, the way you talk to her, the way you ask her of things, you would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another girl like that. So basically, if she fit fit that conditions of being that type of girl for you, then you would, you would talk to her a certain way. You would treat her a certain way. You sh you would treat her like your queen. Yeah, well, one thing too with that last. If she treated time. you like a king, you would treat her like a queen. Oh, without a doubt, of course. So boom, it's without conditions to that though. But look, this is what I want to say. Even with that that girl who did For chase you me. you ever. But that girl who did chase me and stuff like that, I never, like, disrespected her. Like, her. I was always. My my thing is, like, I'm, I'm always smooth. Like, I don't need to, like, yell at a girl. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because usually, just by my energy, women are usually going to be more timid, I guess. I don't know. Or, like, more. Like, every girl I've been with, they've always been more of, like, not, like, like that you know what i'm saying they've been dominant and trying to tell me what to do and stuff like that but they never got to the point where they were yelling at me and shit like that because no girls ever do that because i'll look at a girl dead in her face and say yo don't talk to me like that uh-huh you know what i'm saying or you can get out don't disrespect me because i wouldn't do that to you and i'm definitely not playing that game so right. so i mean bro can we just take away let let's bring this full circle for a second you realize honor cute is that 
telling her she isn't cute is definitely disrespectful. But, oh, I didn't even explain what happened with that. It's because I was trying to initiate a relationship, try to get a relationship with her. And then she tried to hit me with the, oh, I'm not over my ex or something like that. And I was Cause like, you weren't. No, she you said, said that. that. No, she said that to me. She was like, right. I'm not over my ex or whatever. I was like, what? Bitch, I've been fucking talking to you for like a year. What are you talking about? Like, you're not over your ex, you know what I'm saying? Uh, whatever, like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, and then after that, I'm like, all right, whatever, it's cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I just ignored her. I just didn't stop. I just stopped talking to her. Obviously, I didn't say bitch to her in her face, but I'm saying like, because we're guys, we're talking like this. But I was like, you know, bitch, I've been talking to you for a whole fucking year. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I feel you, man. Cool. So I said, all right, that's cool. So then I ignored her. I stopped talking to her. I was like, you know, I'm, I go to her. I'm not, I'm not fucking talking to her no more. You won't play that with me. Like, it is cool. Do your thing. But she yeah. kept hitting me up. She tried to hold you accountable, and you weren't helping. That wasn't flying with you. Because nah, you, you said earlier that you were. The reason you fucked it up is because you no, were grateful because you were over your ex, that, that the minute, uh, the chick from Costa Rica, right? No, Puerto Rico. Nah, Puerto but Rico. I, I said this is a different girl. Like a different girl. I was trying to initiate the relationship with this girl, and then she mm. was telling me over her ex or whatever, I was like, all right, that's cool, whatever. Even though I've been talking to this girl for a whole freaking like, damn near year, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, or like, like, or like say like six, seven months, whatever, right? And I'm like, I right, bet, cool. You know what I'm saying? So Amen. then I ignored her. So let me finish. So then I mm -hmm. ignored her. I stopped talking to her. And then she kept hitting me up and saying, oh, I'm sorry. Like, I, I, I don't want to hurt you. Are you hurt? And she kept doing it. Like, it kind of felt like kind of like. You were getting played. Like, yeah, like, malice. Like, why are you telling me this? Like, right. It felt, like, mad disrespectful. So then she right. kept... And I'm just, like, leaving it on red, and she kept doing it. So then I just hit her with the, yo, you're not even cute anyway, so leave me alone. Mm. And that's when she leave me on everything. And then, all of a sudden, like, a month later, she's in a whole relationship with another dude. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, what the fuck, bro? Like, yeah, like you're, like... And then she tried, she tried to make it seem like this time that I'm the bad guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like to me, like that's it, to me, like it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I take, I, t I, 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 I take. I mean, I pay. Yo, she had to take accountability in that situation. She should have took accountability for the way you were acting in that situation, and you acknowledge that you should have took accountability in the situation where you lost a girl that was being submissive and the one yeah. that you that you wanted, right? So what does what does this all boil down to? What does this all boil down to? If we if we just boil it all down to what? It, it boils down to accountability, right? Exactly. Uh, all of us taking accountability for the one person in this world that we can control, us, right? If she would have did that, things would have been smooth with you, right? If you would have did that with the, the girl that was submissive to you, shit would have been smooth, right? Accountability, ladies and gentlemen. Am I, hey, yo, am I right or am I wrong? No, accountability is very important. I definitely believe that. 100%. Like, so, like, I feel like, let that step one is self awareness and accountability. Of course, you could only control you, right? And everybody else needs to be able to take accountability and control themselves to be better people. Two wrongs don't make it right. Fire, fighting fire with fire don't fix shit. You yeah, learned that. I'm, I'm, I'm a you heard. So, I'm a boom. That's that's basically the that, that's I'm what this all boils down to. Come on, man. you know I'm what I'm a, talking about, I'm a, bro. I'm a fighter. I'm not. I'm 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 gonna go. I'm gonna go down fighting. I'm gonna go mm. down swinging. That. Yeah, that's the ego, <laughs> right? That's the ego coming into play. Oh, but that that right there is ego, of course. Like you, you know, you're not gonna just, you know. Now we taking some accountability. That's what it is. That's what I'm talking about, baby. We just gotta acknowledge these things, be real about them, so that way we can address it. And I think, yo, I think, bro, you got, you know, you you are on the path of this this self discovery. I could already see it. You know, that's where that frustration came from in the first place. Is like you're on this path, of, this path of self-discovery, and you're gonna come to this realization that we're like we're talking about. And I can't wait for you to come back to this video and like see all these things because I think it's a very teachable moment that we're having right right now. So, prop, bro, prop, mad props to you for even coming on and talking about all this. I think you know it's gonna be you know helpful in one way or another. So, mad props, bro frustrated in that video i was using i just used that tone to kind of like you know like i told you before garner like, attention yeah garner attention it wasn't i wasn't frustrated it's just i knew that like that was really going to get women's attention like that okay. like no listen Amen. like maybe you guys will need to take accountability for the way you're acting is the reason why you're single 
You see how it comes back down to hundred percent. I agree, but I'm, I would also say the same thing but, right back to you too. But with, but majority of the time, bro, women do not take accountability though. They always yeah, and neither do you, guys. Sometimes we can agree. Sometimes, we, sometimes. Yeah, but yeah, a lot of times guys don't, and a lot of times girls don't. No. This ain't. Let's not get into the statistics no. of no. Fifty-five percent of women take accountability less than men. Like, let's not even go there. There's women that don't take accountability. There's men that don't take accountability. Not taking accountability is a problem. Of let's course. just let, let's just leave it at that. Who well, who yeah. does it more doesn't matter really. It's just well, people need to take accountability. Well, Whoever does it more does matter. Then you don't go after those people. Okay, bye bye. You don't want to take accountability, peace. I'm people. out. On to the next. Oh, you take accountability? Cool. I fuck with you. Okay, you but see if how more, simple that is. If more Boom. women are taking accountability and there's more women than men in the United States, that means that that's the majority of the women. What are you okay, talking so, about? Okay, so then don't go after those girls. Bro, I, what are you talking about? I'm not supposed to date girls, bro. No, I'm saying go after the ones that do take accountability. How, so there's just a detector that says accountability. She takes yeah, accountability. you're the detector by being able to discern whether or not this person deflects or they take accountability. No, you, no. You're a smart individual. You know how to read a person. Oh, this I, person, they just blame all the problems on somebody else. They don't know how to take accountability. You can't, you can't tell who takes accountability until it comes down until to you, it. Until you get to learn that. Yeah, right? of course. Like, if majority of women are not taking accountability and there's more women than men in the United States, that means that that's a lot more. Mm -hmm. That's just a fact. There's more women in the United yeah, States. Yeah, yeah. The, the amount doesn't majority matter. Just don't go after the ones that don't take accountability. And no. you, you, want, you want me to let you in on a little secret, too? You could what? get people to take, take accountability for, for their actions if you demonstrate that you can take accountability as yeah, well. It's, it's almost like forcing them to mirror what you're doing. No, that's right? not. Like I've done in this conversation right no. now. Right? No, because if you're people if who they don't, don't though, of course there's gonna be some no. people where you act a certain way, they're not gonna mirror you, boom. You, not you don't gonna, wanna keep it real, then cool. I'm not gonna mess with you anymore. Oh, but yeah. when you but There's when no you demonstrate problem. something and you get them to mirror you, they see, Oh wow, this person is somebody who takes accountability, then I feel more comfortable taking accountability. Look, you let feel talk, let me talk. What you're doing is you're talking from a morality standpoint. Not a logical. <sighs> yeah, I know, but I am talking logic as well, man. I think no. I think we're just going around in circles. I no, think let, can we just agree on one thing? Let me say like let me say this. Logically, if a person doesn't take accountability and you're always taking the accountability, that person nine out of ten times is gonna take advantage of that. Then you shouldn't fuck with that person. Of course not, but if majority of people are doing that I say the same thing to the ladies. Ladies, if that guy don't take accountability he don't take responsibility no, for his actions. Stop fucking with them. Man. Like then, you know, why don't and the we same all, thing. If, major, if majority of men are, are taking accountability, that's not the men's problem. You say that's a majority, I got a DM fucking inbox full of people. Talking full about of, talking you know fact. What I mean, that's why we popular is because there's a lot of women that feel exactly the opposite of what you're saying. So what I'm saying is that there, it is a problem. I agree Good. with you uh, and I agree with them. But we can't ignore the other side and act like it's uh, only I, one side, it's not the other. That's the only point I'm trying to make, bro. There's two sides of the problem. Hey, can we agree on that? Come on, Nino. I know we can agree on that. Oh, shit. No. I we can people about that. music. We can yeah. agree on that, but what you're doing is you're not agreeing on my points. I'm agreeing with you, though, because mm -hmm. I'm trying to I'm trying to understand what you're saying, but you're not even trying to understand what I'm saying. You're not even agreeing. You're, you're trying to do things that fit your narrative. Okay, so what what do you what would you like me? What what is it that you? I'm sorry. Go ahead with what you the point you were trying to make. The that, point I'm that majority of women do not take accountability for their actions. In their and a majority of men do. Of course. Is so what you're how, saying. how many times do men take fault for the relationship? Okay, let's say hypothetically, I do agree with that, which. That could very well be true. All I'm saying is if that is the case, then the guys who want to be in a relationship don't go for the girls that don't take accountability. But you, but you, you go back, you, you keep saying don't go for those girls. What do you mean those girls? So what are, these girls? are we is saying majority or are we saying okay. all of them? Okay, I'll give you an example. If I have 10 oranges, right, and eight of these oranges are doing the same thing, how the fuck am I supposed to find the two oranges that don't? You talking about oranges now? Come on, Nino. We ain't talking about no fruits. We like, talking about oranges now? Let's get, let's get a buck, though. Majority of the people who are always battered in relationships and anything is always men. So you 
saying that it's it's socially acceptable to say that women are the problem. Stop the cap. That's not a cap. That is a cap because you admitted earlier in the live that you were the one that, that fucked over the, the other girl. Yeah, out of like fucking 20 girls. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not out of fucking, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's one. That's, that's one. Bro. Like, less, like, less than 1%. Like, what? That's no, that's not the same. Like, hey, what I'm trying to say is this. And even still, I take accountability for it. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, like, from my experience, you're right, bro. There's there, there's a lot of work that needs to be done on the female side for in terms but, of taking but, accountability. But you cannot discount the fact that there's work that needs to be done on the male side, of taking course. accountability <laughs> and stepping up to the play as well, right? Of right. course. Okay, it's, boom. I think that's all we gotta really like this. That's okay. The, but I'm, I want to give you a perfect example though, too, real quick, just of accountability. There's a high rate uh, of, of single moms in America, right? So wouldn't women have to take accountability for the guys that they're choosing to have babies with? Of course, and the and the men should be okay. taking accountability for the women that they're choosing to have a child with too. That well, well, that makes that guy a piece of shit guy though, because if he's just gonna get this girl pregnant and not be there with her, that's that's her choosing him. Majority of the time, the man is not choosing a girl. Hey, girl him. Oh man, listen, th this is gonna lead down the path. We're gonna be on here for two more hours if we lead down. No, I just wanted to put that out there that majority of the time women are choosing the guys that they want to be with. And I guarantee every single yeah. woman in the pack can say that. They right. choose, you're not choosing a girl. She's choosing you. She has way more mm -hmm. options. Right. Okay? And how does she choose him? <laughs> and they don't he, show, he, he showed her things that she wanted to see and then he turned out to be a piece of shit. Why, why would you just sit there and believe something? Don't you, why don't you vet somebody? Vet somebody. You, you said that you wouldn't know whether or not a girl... Hold yourself accountable until you vetted her, right? Because, you said that was impossible. Because you the see? take accountability comes from something that goes wrong. Vetting somebody if they're really so you can't know if this guy's a piece of shit until something goes wrong. No, okay. Good see? <laughs> Come on, bro. I respect. Got his ass again, ladies and gentlemen. We got his ass again. I hey, bro, <laughs> bro. Listen, I'm trying to promote your music, dog. This, this is part of what I want. I but thought look, I was gonna do. Hey, listen, let's talk about your music, bro. Yeah. I actually heard some of your songs, bro. This shit's legit. I said I was going to have, hey, if you want to go live with me, I'm going to fucking help you with, with that. And, and I take a listen. I said, okay, bet. Let's fucking yeah, let, yeah. let them know what's up. Yeah, I want to say, I want to talk about this real quick with my music. Like, Man, here we go. Come on, bro. I got, I, <laughs> I want to promote the music. Like, I just don't want, I, like, at the end of the day, like, like, I don't want, like, that's like relationships, whatever. That, like, I don't really talk about that shit like I, that's cool and stuff but it's just like at the end of the day it's not life or death if you're in a relationship or not you know what i'm saying it's mm -hmm. not you know, at the end of the day it's like just just fucking be happy but just be know. happy with yourself master the <laughs> art of being happy alone and you'll be surprised what happens but if you see my uh message request i don't know if they're happy <laughs> hey man well that's because you attract what you reflect you was putting out that dominance and you was attracting some of that right back my friend that's <laughs> that's some evil shit that shit some of these people be saying some evil bro, shit welcome to the internet bro, oh, bro. hey listen y'all gotta stop attacking young Nino okay alright yeah. he already got enough struggles in life we gotta get him that damn curtain rod 100% we're gonna get you that curtain rod we're gonna start go <laughs> bro where, where can we listen to your music uh, Heartbreak Nino on SoundCloud. Heartbreak Nino on SoundCloud. And oh, what, are the, what? What's your two? What's what's the, what's the two songs that the that two songs are popping right now? That and uh, I just promoted this life on my TikTok right now. That this life, bet you know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, I, I really love my music. That's like what I always want to do. This the shit about women on and, sh and guys to you on TikTok. That was just something that like. I was just passionate about, like, I only do things I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about music and I'm 100%. passionate because I want people to come back together. Like, I don't want, like, I feel like a family is, raising a child in a two-family household is way more healthy than a one-family household. I agree, my friend. Like, I, I just agree. But do you together. think that that video you put out was helping people come together or making them 
dividing them even well, more. Well, I think it was raising awareness. Definitely agree with you on that. But was it offering any solutions to the problem? Well, I have other videos that offer solutions. Okay, so like you, you're saying that from here forward, you're going to be offering them solutions? No, nah, I'm, I'm not... I'm I'm not that teacher, but I just have to let women know that maybe you should take accountability by the way you're acting. You know what I'm saying? 100%. But also, I think that we got to address the men, too. Would you agree? Of course. But my channel isn't focused on men. Majority of my followers are women. Like, at first, I was Bro, I saw a lot of stitches of some dudes that was duetting your shit, too, man. Of course. I mean, because, like, I'm I'm viral and, like, I'm I kind of TikTok famous, but that doesn't... Obviously, there's going to be people, but... Originally, like before that video blew up, like I was consistently getting like 10k, 30k, 20k, you know, 50k on my things. And at first, I was like trying to make the video, like I was gonna make a page just, just like telling men how to improve, you know, get on your purpose, shit like that, you know, like other shit that you know you LSU guys do, shit that mm -hmm. I'm oh, but like my opinion, my perspective, because yeah. I don't know a lot of the shit sure. that the community say, you know what I'm saying. So I just wanted to give my opinion and like like what I think you know as humans what we should do, and um, but then I started noticing that I get a lot of followers, from women. So I'm like, fuck, like if all my followers are women, I might as well just talk to women. And mm -hmm. I'm complaining all the time on social media, like on Facebook, on everything, even girls that I know, like they just complaining all the time. So I'm like, you know what? Let me like tell them like something. Let me talk to them like like the father that they never had, like. You know, guys, every time they talk to women, they're always talking like a woman. Like, every time you see a guy on social media or anything trying to help women, they're always talking like a woman. No, why don't you talk like a man? Like, there's nothing wrong about masculine energy, assertiveness. There's nothing wrong about that. Like, I don't have to be passive with a girl. You know what I'm saying? I just want to talk masculine. Like, I would talk with my boys. You know what I'm saying? So... That, but then the, I seen it blown up, so I'm like, you know what? I want to do my music, and I've always wanted to do my music. That's the one thing that I'm very passionate about. And at the end of the day, like, I see myself five, ten years from now, like, everyone's going to be looking at this like, damn, like, he kind of had a good point. Like, even though the way he said it was kind of, like, messed I guess the way he said it was a little messed up, but it was necessary to get our attention and to maybe really wake us up. That maybe, maybe we are being a little, a little entitled a little bit. Maybe we are, like, putting a little too much blame on men you know maybe we should stop blaming ourselves too for maybe the shit that we do you know what i'm saying maybe that maybe that's what's gonna do for them but i do know for sure that in the next 10 years like i'll be the number one music recording artist on the planet i know i will be uh a, a multi-millionaire in the next five years that's a fact I hey bro i'm rooting for you i'm rooting for you too i'm always gonna remember this you know i'm very i'm rooting for you my boy and i think hey I but think, listen let's keep an open mind and no. let's, let, let's, 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 let's all, if there's one thing that I, I would want you to take away from this, leaving here, is keeping an open mind and acknowledging how there's two sides to everything that you were complaining about. Could we agree on that? Yeah, there's definitely two sides to everything. Absolutely. Like, there's men, men do a lot of wrong shit. For sure. Women doing a lot of wrong shit, too. And if majority of my followers were men, I would have done the same video, but towards men. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I would, I'm gonna be honest with you. I want you to send me a screenshot of the analytics. I want to see all the women that follow. Well, I'm gonna show you the analytics. Yeah, I got you. Let me see. <laughs> hey man, listen, bro. I appreciate you coming on. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we we just uh, we want to hear them out. Even if you agree, you disagree, hey, whatever, let's hear them out. Let's try to understand. <laughs> I see. Try to understand. Hey, yo, even all the women who, like, might have negative energy towards me or whatever, I still wish you all the best, man. Like, if you I keep the negative to... energy out there, that's what you're going to get back, though. Let me just say that. I, I put no negative energy out there at all. Like, that's perspective. 100% that was a negative energy, dog. No, it wasn't. Come on, man. How was that negative? <laughs> Explain. You know, look me in the eyes, bro. That was a negative energy. It wasn't. Like, like it wasn't negative. Negative energy would mean me saying, yo, fuck these women. They're a piece of shit. That would be negative energy. Me saying, you're not a queen. It's basically like me just trying to tell him, like, bro, can you fucking get out of your head, bro? Like, are you delusional? Like, you're not a queen, bro. Like, you're a regular human being. Maybe you should take comedy for the way that fucking you're acting. 
okay, to, to, your, to the guys that you're talking to. Stop thinking that he has to do everything for you. If a guy wants to do something for you, it's because he wants to, not because he has to. Just like if a, a girl, you're not entitled to a girl's body as a man. You're not. Okay, so for you to think that you're entitled to bang this girl or think you're entitled to be, you're fucking delusional, buddy. Okay? If you're fucking sitting on your couch smoking weed all day, fucking, you know, got nothing going for yourself, you're not getting a bad bitch and you don't deserve one. You don't. You don't deserve a bad bitch because you don't got shit going for yourself. You don't even have fucking credit. You don't deserve a bad bitch. I'm sorry to tell you, buddy. Okay? Get the fuck off your ass. And go be something in life. Like, nigga, like, everything I'm comes... Saying, he needs to fucking grow into the man that he's supposed to be before he can get a bad bitch. Hey, I, I can laugh at myself. <laughs> I, I don't give a fuck. I can Bro, laugh at if you want a bad bitch, listen, ladies and gentlemen, you, you know, can't you be too toxic. <laughs> you know, you're too toxic, but, like, at the end of the you day... You know, like, you're too toxic. Dude... The honest opinion, though, like, besides other things, just by talking to me, do you think I'm toxic? Bad bitches are single. Bruh, it's simple. you're not mad? Feminism. Feminism taught you one thing. You a queen. You God's gift to this earth. You the prize. No, the fuck you ain't. Yeah. No, that's you, ain't. That's you, ain't right. queen. you ain't never gonna be my queen because you ain't my mother. You don't love me unconditionally. You love me under conditions. And the problem is that I'm a man. I'm a leader. I'm the toxic uh, asshole guy. The tool, right? Because when we go out, right, you expect me to take care of you, right? When we go out, I pay for it. You good. We go to the store. Hey, hey, get some shoes. You good. I got you. But when I tell you to do something, do it. That's the problem. Don't expect me to take you, you and beg you and get on my knees, bro. I'm not submissive. I'm dominant. I'm dominant. You know what is, I don't want to be that he's a bad guy, right? It's okay, man. Hey, look, you were frustrated. We could agree on that. No, we can't. I wasn't. <laughs> Come on, bro. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on. I, was I just want you to, my whole point of that was like, listen, more positivity breeds more positivity, the, right? You want to know the real reason why I made that video, though, too? I'm going to keep it a stack with you. I was I was playing the game. I just had come from, from work. And I, I was just playing some games, you know, trying to get my mind off shit, watching YouTube videos. And it was just, I was watching this video, and I was just like a bunch of, like, beautiful-ass women. Like, I'm like, damn, you girls are bad. Just complaining, like, like why they're single. And they're like... You know, why don't guy like want to be with me? Like, uh, like, just a bunch of girls complaining about single. I was like, yo, that's a good topic. Like, I, I, I was, I was trying to think of something to come up with. I was like, damn, what video I'm gonna do today? You know, so that's what, me? that's what it was. Yeah, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do that because I know I, if I'm seeing these women, you see, that's just me being smart though. I observed okay. it. I'm like, you know what? Amen. Like, there, there's a lot of women out here that are beautiful women, and I was like, mm -hmm. I kind of like want to respond to that TikTok video. Because I seen the TikTok video. I was like, yo, I, I want to make a video responding to that. So I'm going to fucking say it. You know what I'm saying? The shit that men don't want to say. But men really be failing. You know what I'm saying? It's mm. like, it's just like, that's the thing. It's like women, like, it's not my fault that majority of guys are scared to tell you the truth because they don't want to be called misogynistic. They don't want to be.